The Comedy Store would like you to know that the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are strictly those of the speakers or authors and do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by the Comedy Store and its affiliates. Guys, I'm really excited. Uh, Flying with a, a special guest co-host um, because Rick is out rocking with Chris Rock on the Rick Rock tour. What I think dumb. it's the Rick Rock tour. I mean, is that what they? What a dumbass! Think they officially changed the name to Rick Rock. I think they changed. They both changed their names to that. <laughs> Jeff Danish, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. co-hosting. Rick, um, what a what a missed opportunity by Rick. Why why is, would he take the Chris Rock gig over this? Yeah, that's I mean his ego. Foolish must be very foolish <laughs> on that ego death. Rick Rock. If you're before. listening, Rick, you fucked up. You really fucked up this time. You done Rick. fucked up. I know. I guess Chris Rock is a little, maybe slightly more famous than this podcast. It's Rick and Rocky. Rick and Rocky. Why, why Rocky? <laughs> That's just his because nickname. That's what his friends call him. And he did get hit. Because he got slapped? That's not what that I was, was trying Rocky? to say. I don't want any, I don't want any beef. I don't That's want that. That's comfortable. You already started. I don't want that smoke. If we there's got, three brothers. I don't want to fight all the rocks. I think there's more than three, but yes. Three in the game. Right, right, right. Yeah. All, and both. Very, very nice. And, and Rick has seven brothers. Have no problem slapping you. Rick, the, what? The Ingrams. The Ingrams. He is mo- there's seven? numerous Ingrams in comedy. <laughs> Is Brian Ingram? Who's that? Julius Ingram, Rick's brothers. Oh, his real brother. Yeah, they I perform at the in comedy. No, they per- like, yeah, oh. they are. They perform at the Laugh Factory mainly. You're crazy. Um, maybe you're making things up. I'm like, wait, Rick has two brothers. We're anxiously awaiting our guest. Oh yeah, our guest is performing in the main room, so we decided to start without them. I have Can all my them? questions. Yeah, they go by them. Okay, are they a them? They them. Them the are a they. I think it's they, them, his, her. I'm going They by, go by four different things. I think I'm going to start going by it. Cousin it. When I was okay. little, my brothers used to call me it. You remember from, what was that, the Monsters? Monsters? Is that right? The no. Monsters? What was it called? The Monsters? Adam's Family? Adam's Family. That's what I heard him say from the booth, from behind the glass. He said Adam's Family? Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm terrible. Because I didn't get to, like, watch... Like, I had to watch whatever they were watching. Like you should it. be it like uh, Stephen King, it. To get- with Pennywise, the clown. <laughs> but you remember it had all the yeah. hair oh, and yeah. the sunglasses. So every time I would like, if they would get mad at me, they would talk. Like, I would talk and I'd be like, I know you can hear me. And they'd be like, what is that? Is it talking? Is wow. it saying That's something? That's commitment to the bit. Oh, it was brutal. Brutal. Commit to the bit. And then people want to know why yes. I live alone. I did a lot of research on the guest. Did you really? A lot of questions. What uh, about being a Mennonite? Okay, <laughs> yes, that's a big one. <laughs> that is a big deal. That's my and... number one question. <laughs> they are that. What? So I may need you guys to sit in the same frame because I have to go film Annie. Uh oh. What the fuck are you saying to me right so, now? So then you guys can be in the same frame and I can leave and I don't have to cut between you. What does this mean, Phil Manning? Is this a real thing? Is this did Chris Rock send you to fuck this up? No, Andy wants to be filmed in the main room. Okay. So that's gonna happen momentarily, which I'm supposed to be doing. So, so do you want me to switch now? Is this real life, Jeff? <laughs> I'm gonna switch. I'm serious. Like it would be better if you guys are on. Okay. Maybe it's because Jeff is here and the comedy <laughs> store continues to shit on Jeff. Absolutely. The, the comedy store does love to shit on Jeff. Yes. I. Okay. Law and you gave out the name of our Mennonite. I mean, our podcast guest. This is very awkward. Now we're just s- sitting here on the same. What's that? Well, I mean, you're gonna have to. No, I say leave it. Or you could leave it so you could see how unprofessional the, every single fucking thing is in this. Oh boy, it's over. No, is it? Ninety-three seventy-nine. It's a little time left, but that's. <sighs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, um, you know. I did watch a lot of Larry Bird highlights today just to get the momentum going. And it didn't work. It never worked. You know what has happened? What? Since the Dice Man was in the Boston area, the Celtics have not played well. <laughs> I, I told him that he the fucked, Celtics... He fucked him over. <laughs> as soon as we landed, I was like, Andrew. I said, you know, we were driving Ugh. from the airport to the gig in Medford, Mass. And I said, the, this is a big deal. I said, the Celtics are playing tonight. You know, it's a playoff he game. Even, game he four. doesn't even know what that is. 
Does so he? Which one is that? He doesn't know who the Celtics are? No. Oh, my God. No. If you he don't know no one idea. NBA team, probably like the Celtics, I mean, the he Lakers. Knows all of them. He knows Does he know the, the Knicks? Name. He knows the name. Could he name five NBA players any time period if he had to? That is that is a tough question. Maybe because uh, his oldest son was obsessed with basketball. So I doubt the it. Kobe. I say he knows I mean, that one. Kobe, and then a, Shaq. a Magic, a Michael. But I need last names. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> magic. Uh, you know, Magic. That guy. <laughs> magic Jackson. <laughs> If he said that, that counts. He would say something like that just to piss me off. I think that's who he thinks it is. Because one time he was like, um, I met this guy and I was like, oh, he goes at the store and he was a big deal and everybody got mad at me because I didn't know who he was. I go, what What did he do? What, you know? And he, I go, obviously it was a sports person. And he's like, yeah, he was in football. He played for Chicago. I said, Oh, okay. Who? He goes, not Walter something. You met Walter Payton? <laughs> what, when when was this? What, what year? Outside the comedy store. Hey, guys. How you doing? And he, had that, he had that soft voice. But he just, yeah. he was like nice to me. Who yeah. are you? <laughs> Walter fucking Payton. They, they call me sweetness. <laughs> I <Gracious>. bet they do. <laughs> That's, how crazy is that? I, go, I do the Russian around here. <laughs> I do the Russian. <laughs> Dice was a running back in high school, Brooklyn High. They played with leather uniforms. The leather helmets. Leather, helmets, leather helmets and leather jackets. The le- fingerless gloves. Leather, leather pants. helmets. Leather didn't breathe, pants. Didn't breathe well at all. It was not easy. He played with a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah. Lit. Laundry was just a wipe down. They didn't have to wash anything. We well, just per- run at every play. <laughs> Wally Payton and Dice Man hanging out. In the front bar. Can't picture that. Can you imagine? Just a, I like, picture more Jim McMahon and Dice hanging out. That makes more sense. The refrigerator parrot. Like that era. Look but- at your teeth, refrigerator. You gained the weight. You barely have any. <laughs> you guys got... Remember he was in WrestleMania, Refrigerator Perry, in the, Royal, in the Battle Royal? He was on G.I. Joe as well. But that's the thing. Like He didn't grow up loving sports you know what i mean like he just what's from the, a very young what's his age, knowledge in music a love for music yeah so he absolutely. knows musicians well absolutely like any musicians any drummer any like he could break down all that stuff uh and that like i'm saying all that stuff most people that are into music would be like the fuck is wrong with you but like I kind of learned a lot hanging out with him i learned how to drum a little bit who's the better drummer dice man or burr Ooh, uh, better comedic drummer. I gotta say, Dice, but only because I never really watched Bill as much. I saw him do a few. How is he? Clips, and he's good. He just Dice did it like he got paid to do. Did it. Dice play in the school band. He did, and <laughs> he great. um he did that. Um, was it a yeah? It was the band, and he like did, the marching band or like the band. I think it was a marching band. <laughs> I. I'm almost positive it's a uh, Brooklyn high school and there was like this solo that he wanted and they gave it to somebody else. And then this guy, Lee Musica, who was uh, the band leader, I guess. His last name was Musica. Oh no, his father was the teacher. And his father was, and Musica worked with Tony Bennett. Like he's worked with everybody. He's amazing. Um, But he was like, yeah, you should give it to Dice, to his dad. And he, Andrew, I think that's how he got it. I could be butchering this whole story, but... That's how Dice got his start in drumming comedy. But he went up to the Catskill Mountains and played... He was a drummer with Lee Musica for a Did while. Did he do any stand-up while he was there? No, he wasn't doing... That's what I'm saying. He was getting paid to be a drummer. Is it you true know that I mean? Dice so, was in Blue Man Group for a few years? He could be. But the chest hair gave him away. But that's why I'd have to, I'd have to pick Andrew because he did do it as a profession for a he while. He was in the Catskills. Yeah, this was the, that the, was a big deal. In the, <laughs> he de- has some funny stories from up in the Catskill. Oh, I, I God. bet he does. I, I have you ever been there? No, me either. No, I have like not. I don't even. I want to bring back comedy there. Why? Why not? 
Will Chamberlain used to play basketball there. Of course. The, of course. Of course. Bushman, you hear? La if anyone doesn't know Bushman, Bushman. he may Bushman. be dead. He won't return my emails. At all? He's at least dead to me. Bushman like to party. I think uh, COVID may have taken him out. Really? He beat Norm McDonald. Maybe Norm's death hit Bush hard. He, and he Bush wanted hard. to join him up in heaven for Bushman. the... Uh, what oh, we... Norm, I can't believe it. What would he say oh, about Norm on. McDonald? Uh, he called him Norm McDonald's, for one. <laughs> the man that he beat on International Star Search. Uh, Bushman, if you don't know him, his name's Lahai Fambula. Hails from Liberia, Africa. Lahai. I once told him that my mom was a librarian like him, and he got very <laughs> upset. Wait a minute. What? I was like, my mom's I... like you. He's like, what do you mean? My mom's a librarian. It's Liberia. <laughs> Come on, man. Now, why would you say that to somebody that carries a spear? Well, he doesn't always. Really? Only on Venice Beach. Still, he has it. He does somewhere. have it. And a pan. Put yeah. the money in the pot. Put the, the money in the bucket. Uh, the, oh, no, but wasn't yeah. that like a frying pan that he Who had? knows? The I... great comedy store open mic or Mugzilla was like Bushman's Venice Beach street performing manager. <laughs> and they would erect this fucking small hut with like a, a, a drill. And the, the classic ending of the bit was Mugzilla would say... Hey, man, you didn't pay your rent. You got to take your shot. Oh, come on, man. And uh, Bushman would go down to Venice Beach. I, maybe he's still there. I don't know. I haven't heard from him in a long time. I'm going to go down to Venice tomorrow. I'm going to check and see. Well, I don't know if there. he's there during the... Uh, I think he's only a weekend guy. He's oh, only he's like busier. big time. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, big yeah. time. He's not a week. Yeah, but it's the weekday. summer now. That's true. It's the summer. It's hot the Maybe whole check time. the permits. You can probably check permits online. <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me he doesn't go above board. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you, do you think anybody down on Venice Beach that's like street performing or whatever gets a permit? I think the cops, I think they b kind of bust their balls. No depending. way. You know who's an asshole? The guy who fucking rollerblades in the toga. You know that guy? Oh, yeah. He was in White Man Can't Jump with the guitar. Yeah. I've heard he's a dick. Wait, but he has like an amplifier yeah, too yeah, and yeah. a guitar. And he and like, like rollerblades wah, wah, wah. around, yeah. Um, I've heard he's not a cool dude. He's, he's well, a prima I mean, donna. He's, he's a movie star. Hot. Oh. And he's a movie star. <laughs> and he's sweating to death. And he's rollerblading around with a Venice guitar Beach, that barely works. I haven't been there in a long time, but it's uh, not the nicest place in town. No, it's not. Like, my friend wants to come visit, and he's like, I want to see These Venice people Beach. people tweaking and like, out, man. I'm like, okay. And he's like, when's the best time to come see it? I'm like, pretty much any time. Daytime. Get out of there by nightfall. <laughs> Don't get caught. During COVID... I went down there and I, it was fucking packed. It was packed? Packed. During what COVID. What were people doing? And I was like, wait. Were there street performers out there? Everybody was. I was like, aren't we supposed to be in? Like, I guess Venice was, uh, they were doing their own thing. I could barely ride my bike through. Like, it was people. Were you going down to perform? You're like, I can't get on stage. I was just losing my mind. So I was, <laughs> I'm going to do I, some I almost outdoor rode shows. my bike across country. That's how crazy I got. You just rode your bike into the ocean. <laughs> killed yourself <laughs> that was close too but i don't want to die on the west coast that would be awful why they couldn't get you back to philly no i would just rather die on the east coast like you really? want to die somewhere where at least you're like you're a happy. dog you're gonna just wander out into the philly woods and <laughs> lay down and die Wait, where are the <laughs> philly woods you're like this this feels good <laughs> this feels right not the West Coast. No, I definitely. You, I could see you like having a heart attack and being like flying. Definitely going to die of a heart attack, FYI. Booking a flight with while still having the heart attack, flying, holding the heart holding attack. It, and then you land in Philly sweaty. and then you just die right there in the plane. You're like, I made it. Yeah. As soon as I get on Philadelphia soil, I yeah. go, all right. At, at least South Philadelphia, too. I can't die at the airport. I got to get in. That's like the famous Southwest. women's college basketball coach, Pat Summit, coached mm -hmm. at Tennessee for years and years. Uh, shockingly, not a lesbian, I don't think. Isn't that crazy? Ha With she, the mullet. She was pregnant. And I think she was going on a college recruiting visit, I believe, on uh -huh. a plane, like nine months pregnant. I think either her water broke or goes into labor, and this fucking lady just continues That's on the a flight, bad bitch. takes it, That's lands it, and is bitch. like, all right, let's go. I'm ready now. <laughs> Guys, we're crowning, so when you land, could you I make it nice? I can see her nice? just gritting her teeth, just fucking sweating. And Let's just get like, a smooth landing, because this baby's hanging out. You all right? I'm fine. <laughs> just fly the plane. <laughs> Jeez. No. Imagine sitting next to her. She practiced with holding a basketball in between there. I'd like, get up. I'd be like, I'm not sitting next to this. Why? She could give birth. You'd be responsible for the baby. 
So, you have to oh. deliver it. That's the rule. If the person sitting it. in the seat next to you goes into labor, they say, are you comfortable delivering a baby? <laughs> to say yes I, or no. I mean, when your girl had her had your babies, were you in the room? Yeah, both. Like in there at the top or the bottom? Yeah, the catcher's mitt on. Yeah. I was in the top bunk. What do you mean the top or the bottom? What is it kind of Were you at her head or? Uh, 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 the... For my daughter, who was first born, I was at the bo- uh, feet side. Okay. They put me to work. I had to hold a leg. Absolutely, uh, motherfucker. They made me count. I, I, was, I was in charge of contractions at this <laughs> shitty hospital. They like, put I'm not, me to no, work. I have no medical experience. He's like, you going to help or not? I go, what? It was you before they even asked me. Is? Yeah, it was me. Yeah, well, I mean, all I was like, am I getting be- salaried? What the fuck is this? No. She gave me these, like, hot sauce packets of, like, lubrication. She's like, open those up. I was like, this lady's bitch. Good. Lady Monica. She was aggressive. Good. Then when she left, everything went crazy. She was keeping everything in line. And the next thing we know, we're just, like, on our own for a while. We're like, where the fuck did that lady go? Like, oh, this is a shift change. Hospital oh wasn't great God. when we pulled in. That's great insurance. The buddy. guy uh, who got her in the wheelchair had a lot of face tats who worked there. And I was like, this isn't wow. good. And then her water had broken and we were like, we were like in a rush. And they're like, you got to go through the metal detector. And I was like, we're like her water. Bro-. And like, you got to go. Through, everyone goes through the metal detector. And I was like, oh, this isn't a great. Where did you have the baby? South Central? We Jesus. had the baby. Uh, it was uh, called Gang War Hospital. <laughs> And so it was, uh, it was I think run by the up. 18th Street game. Yeah, it was MS-13 uh, <laughs> <laughs> Memorial. It was in downtown L.A., which was, it's not the best place to be. Well, uh, I'll tell you that like a lot of people go, oh, Cedars is the spot, whatever. And Cedars freaked me out a little bit. First of all, my best friend had a baby when she was 16. I was 15. At Cedars? She flew out? In Philadelphia. She and flew I out was to in the room when she had the baby. And I really believe that's Were why you I don't have head children. Headside or foot side? M- middle. A middle. I was right there. I, wa- I was like. My son was, was C-section, so young. which was a complete different experience. And she was. It was like two minutes. And he oh, was, yeah. That's he was out. so quick. And they're prettier they like, babies. I was in the hall. Like, and dude, he's real handsome because he didn't go through the canal. Well, the, the, the doctor said later, he's like, he's got a perfect C-section head. Very round. It's amazing. <laughs> he it's said amazing. he could see it. He didn't get his little cone head. He said he could see it. My daughter got sucked out via, a fu- they call it a vacuum, but it's not yeah. a vacuum. It's like a plunger. Of course. On the she fucking head. head. Yeah, my brother Tommy had that too. So, Did she have a big head? Yeah, but my daughter was, she was... Uh, Losing yardage, so she was getting, she was climbing back up, which I didn't know was possible. And we we're like, "What?" And this is after like I think twenty-five hours. We're like, "What the fuck, man?" <laughs> and they're like, "Look, she's not coming out, so we got to do the vacuum." And mm-hmm. so then, like, fifty people come in the room, and this woman's like, and I see this other guy like whispering to the woman, and I'm like, "Wait, what?" And they're like, "Ah, uh, she like she was learning you see on the, the Dyson job. Come she's out. learning oh on the job." And I'm like, God. "Whoa, like let's get." And they're like, "By the way, like sign these papers, we can rip her head off, like all this crazy shit." And we're like, "What?" And I'm like, "Wait, why is she, we're getting the yeah. fucking intern?" And so then she does it twice, and then they're like, "You only have three tries." And then the guy's like, "All right, I'll do the third one." He comes in, and I was like, "Boom, he did it." But I was like, "What? Why did we get the rookie?" I would I would have had a. Fucking hard. But things attack. are just going crazy, so you can't be like, whoa, what, what? Like, but it was just like, oh, she's gonna do it, and just like does it. The things like rips off. I'm like, whoa, whoa, and she's like, oh no, it's all right, it's okay. <laughs> she went over two. <laughs> Hopefully, she quit. One of the uh, nurses had Chuck Taylors on, which I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but it just seemed weird to me. No, it's terrifying. I, I don't. Aren't they supposed to have certain nurse shoes? That's or? what I thought, but I don't know if she was just pulled in off the street <laughs> last minute. I don't. I don't trust this hospital. I got to be honest. We got to get. Uh, yeah, it was the sec the for my son. It was a much better hospital. Well, the, what I was gonna say about Cedars though, the, everything's open, and so when I was in there with Freddie Soto and Corey were having their daughter Cruz. How many births have you attended? A few. <laughs> They're like call Eleanor. She loves it here. <laughs> She's a midwife. She just <laughs> rips them out. She's a human vacuum. But I, so I, I was in there and. I was like, oh, Corey's about to, she's in labor. Like she was in active labor. And I was, I, I said, oh, I'm getting out of here. Freddie was in there filming, you know, he, he looked like Scorsese. He's getting a fucking what, shot of the tunnel. Why? You want to watch that? Out. Like why? He he played it for everybody. Freddie. Why? I I will beat the shit out of him. I've been in that it. room and it's nothing you want to ever see or experience we again. We made Bob Oshak sit and watch it. And he was so sick. Oh. <laughs> 
Is it health what? class at Freddie's house? It's like, hey, watch this I video. I think he kind of enjoyed Just like wanted to making make people, people uncomfortable. I, it was I so funny, and I was like, Fre- so Freddie's like filming whatever, and Is he going full shots of like pretty much, yeah, pr- basically, man, and, pretty much, well, pretty much, basically. <laughs> but we, so I leave, I go downstairs because I'm like, oh, she's active labor. I'm getting the fuck out of here, right? Our other friend is having a baby across the hall. And you know, my friend Lauren. Wow. Right? That planned? Or no, is that just uh, random? No, her sister in law. Oh, okay. So Lauren was like, oh, I have another friend here. I'm going to go see them. So she, her and her husband real par- came in real the party. room. Real party. In the room while Corey was like crowning. And she's this like, Freddie, what are you doing? This and isn't COVID like, era. COVID, you're allowed, like, I almost wasn't that allowed is 18 to. Years ago. I wasn't almost allowed to go in. I couldn't go to any of the appointments. But who the fuck does that? I wouldn't go in. Why would you let somebody, like, you're in active labor. You don't let somebody. It's bad enough you were there. Then bring in these I other left. People. As soon as I, I was like. You're okay. like, oh, party's over. I'm bringing my, taking my drinks and I'm leaving. I'm, good. I'm bringing all my. <laughs> Do you think I have an oral fixation? Do you think this is from wanting to smoke so bad? This What's weekend, that called? I Takaya? wanted to smoke. Takaya? I don't know. It's just a water What's bottle. What's in there? Vodka? It's a water bottle. It's all dented up. Because I drop it a lot. Do you travel? Is that your airplane bottle? This is my water. This is drink more water. More water. That's how you spell it. That's how you spell it in Philadelphia. And look, the little... What's in there? Liberty Bells. Ice cream. Oh, I thought those were feet. Okay. I've seen looking from the side. I think it's like feet. Who puts feet? You made me spit. Who puts feet in... The other night, I was performing at the Comedy Store. This is the Comedy Store podcast. Very exciting. Let's talk comedy. I'm co-hosting, comedy store. co-hosting for Rick Ingram on the Chris Rock and Rick Ingram tour. <laughs> Coming to City Near You. Check it out. <laughs> Please go check them out. It's very funny. Yeah. I heard the opener is the best part of the show. I'm going to, uh, well, yeah, but we're a little biased, but yeah. But um, uh, there was a guy in the front. I, I went up late, and so about 30 people left right as I got on stage. I had to fight the current to get was there. Was this in the OR? Yeah, oh, yeah. One of the greatest rooms. It's weird. Even though the Most OR frightening is and- ending earlier, people still leave towards the end of the show. But you say ending earlier, still one, right? No, this was at like probably close to midnight-ish. Wow. So uh, a lot of people left, but sitting right to the front left on the front table was this guy who was like 6'6", probably like 350, huge right. fucking guy, like wide, wide shoulders, Hawaiian shirt. He's, he's probably like 60-something years old. I like what's Bald happening. Bald head, glasses, long gray beard. I said he looked like a prison Santa, like that sort of vibe. Okay. Tats, a lot like of tats on the Ruben. arms. Okay. Uh, and his lady, why I brought it up, is she had a tat on her titty, and I was like... I'm not looking her at your tits. Were out? No, but oh, like I was like, tits. I'm not looking at your tits, but like I can't. I can see you have a tattoo. What is it? And it was a skull, like just right on the tits. Which I said, who doesn't love love that? <laughs> the guy was a good sport. He didn't. Uh, he could have killed me, and he it didn't like, do it. <laughs> it was like a skull with like the crossbones. I didn't want to look or? too close. Like it was like legitimately like right above her tits. So I was like, I'm not going to stare at your tits in the front row. You're like, does your skull have? Do they skull fuck your titties? Like I could have gone in there, but I didn't. I asked three guys who were kind of wieners sitting across from that guy. I mean wieners, like just kind of dorky, 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 dorky dudes. Got it. I asked if they think that all three of them could fight this guy and win. Two said absolutely not. The smallest guy said, "Oh yeah, we could do it." Small guys. Dude, this guy would have killed him. One a you clubbing don't know blow. That. Yes, I do. I've watched a small guy beat up a big guy numerous times. This this guy was huge. Like I, I saw a shit. How tall is he? Five foot. Nothing. Four Hundred foot, nothing. Ten, four <laughs> foot. Like four ten. I four might ten not even is the five. dude. Yeah. Is Danny DeVito? Uh uh uh-uh. uh. And a bigger dude out of. Then this was in South Philly. A bigger dude that was. They were like we we were calling them Hicks, country boys. They were big guys, right? Are they from there? Or are they just visiting? no, no. They were visiting. It, they made the fatal mistake of visiting and talking trash to the little guy. Oh, who's from there? From there. Got it. And the little guy destroyed that big. They look like football players, you know that he, kind of. Like, was he? How was he hitting the guy in the face, or is he just all body punches? Uh, it was a mix of both. I'll never forget. So it's a playground, and we have this like little like ledge kind of thing. It's not even high. It's, it's like a step down. It's one step. Oh, but he was on. They top usually of it? have a fence on there, but the when they every time the city would put a fence up, 
the older kids would rip it down because they would, they liked sitting in the front of the playground. Yeah, you can't and have a nice And you couldn't sit fence. there if the stupid fence was there. You're supposed to drive your car right up to the playground oh if my God, a fence. They literally ripped it every time up until about 15 years ago. But like, why are we paying got... taxes when they're just ripping the fence up? <laughs> so they, um, so he was there and the they were walking out. So he, when they were arguing, he was here and he leaped Almost like that Doc Willis. Did like a running Superman punch, like, MMA style. He just leaped off that step and just caught him right in the chin Man. and then had him down. Do you think if he missed that punch, it would have gone a lot differently? Or you think It could have, but this kid was he good. Did, he didn't miss it. He, I think he probably trained there. He put like a mannequin or something. His name was Robert. He's fucking He practiced badass. the jump punch. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he now? Wearing lifts somewhere? Oh, he's still there. He's still in Philadelphia. Married with kids. I'm going to go fight him. See if I can take the belt. You want to fight him? The For Philly real? street belt. Oh my God, he would be so excited. Who? Who is this guy? How <laughs> old is he? Like 60? 50s? Um, no, he's my age. It might be like so right older than me. 30, <laughs> 38? What are we? Uh, 21. You know what's weird? You know when you think you're not old, right? Like, yeah. Not... I know we're getting older. It's inevitable. There's nothing you can do about it. But it, we, uh, you think like, oh, I'm not that old. And then I was home and my friend's like, oh, my grandson's playing. <laughs> I was like, grandson? What are you looking at? The score? 104.94. Celtics lost. Thanks a lot, Dice. Stay out of Medford, oh, Mass. Well, it could have been me, too, because I am Eddie Mush. You got me, too in Boston? Uh, no, I wish. They were rowdy, Boston. Jesus. Boston it's a crowd. Drink, it's a drinking city. Cr- fucking wh- I mean, I came out and I felt Even that, rowdy for a Dice crowd? I guess every time we do Boston with Dice, it's like that. Every time. What are and, they are they just wasted? What's the, what's the deal? Maybe, I know the Rick Rock tour started in Boston. Rick, we were at Rick the same said, place. Rick said it was pretty rowdy. Yeah, we were at the same place, and they were. Oh, you guys, I thought you did. He did the Wilbur. He did the Wilbur, but when he went in early and did this theater. Okay. So they they went in early and did this uh, Chevy Lear Theater, Chevalier Theater, Chevy Chase. Stop, Chevalier, Sh- Chevalier. I don't. Know. I don't know what it's called, Chevalier Theater in Medford. Mass. You live in Medford. Hit us up. Tell us the pronunciation. Yeah. Call the I hotline, one eight hundred comedy store. Let me give my cell phone number. <laughs> Do it. Um This may not even be recording. The guy just left because oh no, he had they, to go film Annie. Here's the thing. He went to film our guest. Why is that just for her personal Who's, thing or is, I'm assuming. Uh, but why does he have to do but it? But no one said anything to me. I told the producer who we were having, and he said, Oh, that's great. And then, <laughs> but why said, is it his job said, to film her? Gonna be Most there. comics set up like a tripod themselves. Um, but I, why is she like, hey, I need question. you to come film me? So, and that's what I was saying. High maintenance. Why do you deem like I thought he was going to take one of these cameras? Does she do? Is it her special? She's just cobbling together fifteen no, minutes but maybe at a time because the the store is putting out little like or going to try to put out little things on the website like with the box set you yeah. know from the 50th anniversary things like that maybe they're you know doing little short things they need a camera like um what do they call it like in the nfl the one that's on the, the drone not the, the drone oh, but the, the one uh, on like the wire yeah, yeah. Where it just goes by itself <laughs> follows the action <laughs> Yeah, it just hits you in the face because they'd have some idiot manning it. Sorry. Or somebody tries to hit it, right? Yeah, the crowd like throws something at it. Or a guy comes down on it like Karate Kid 2. If there was like that in Medford, Mass this weekend, they would have swatted it down. When I came out- Were they heckling or were they just- Yeah. They were heckling. But as soon as I came out, like they, the guy was introducing me and as he was introducing me, they were like, dice, dice, dice. <laughs> like, guess again, like, well, guys. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> and then I come you out and wait. Like, still saying dice, dice. And I'm like, fuck. So I'm already sweating. Like, Do they ever, can anyone get kicked out of a dice show? It seems like it'd oh, be hard. Million times. So really? That, that, it's, it's funny you said that because that night it got a little, oh, was that Connecticut? No, no, that was, that was Medford, right? Connecticut was, so I come out. There's these two guys in the second row, and they were wasted. And every time I said something, they go, yo, I I didn't understand what they were saying. So I go, yo, you're not part of my act. 
And Vinny Paz was in the front row. Oh, shit. Well-known bo- former also, boxer, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, a great boss. Uh, uh, he's not from Boston, though. He's from... I thought he's from, like, Jersey or that area. No. Somewhere. New York? Uh, no, no, no. It's up there. It's like New Hampshire, Lowell. Where's Lowell? Look. Lowell's Mickey Ward. Irish yeah, he Mickey was with Ward. him. Irish Mickey Ward was with him? I said, is that the pride of Lowell? <laughs> Let me um, see where he's from. So they were all sitting um, up, to, you know, right in the front, just to the right or, or to the left. And I'm like literally just trying to do my act. But these two guys were so drunk. They were like. He's from boss. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. I knew it was up there. New England area. Where's Lowell, Mass? Uh, Lowell, actually, is very close to where I grew up. Is it? Yeah. But that's Massachusetts. They were in my same high school basketball conference. It is. It was uh, a mill city. We okay. go on field trips there to check out the mills. And uh, a lot of, I think, one of the number one Cambodian refugee spots in the country. Mm. So their basketball team, Cambodians, surprisingly good athletes. Very good. They it. were good at volleyball. I, I played was volleyball. Shocked by that. Just uh, I don't know, like played basketball. I don't know. I just mm. didn't like. You don't see a ton of Asians, especially in that area, playing high school basketball. Right. Right. But uh, when I played there, I had a beard in high school. And they were um, howling and calling me Teen Wolf, which made me laugh on the court. And my coach was a huge, uh, like a big hard ass. He's like, what the fuck is so funny? I'm like, they're calling me Teen Wolf, dude. And he's like, he didn't find it funny, but I did. So anybody in the New England area is an asshole, no matter what race? Pretty, basically pretty (laughs) Pretty much. Pretty much. yeah, but you're he, saying that from Philly, like they're the nicest, you. kindest people in the hey, world. Hey, we did a show at Parks Casino. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. No issues. They weren't Nobody throwing, got thrown weren't out. weren't throwing batteries at you no. like they did to Santa Claus no, well, at Santa a football Claus game. Was interrupt- if Santa Claus came out and interrupted a dice show, they would have threw batteries at him. Absolutely. Um, dice Claus. I they saw... didn't want to see Santa Claus. They wanted to watch the Eagles. So... I've seen Bill Burr's infamous clip where he went crazy on the Philadelphia I made, crowd. I made my brother watch it. My Wasn't brother... Dom Herrera on that show? He, the reason, I think he followed Dom, didn't the he? The reason Bill got upset is because they booed Dom Herrera. He goes, you <laughs> he's from there. Yeah, he's he goes, from he's, that area. He's not only from here, he's the fucking king. Oh, he lost it. It was, was like was... 11 minutes of just irate fucking. And like, he's like, don't fucking laugh at me. One, I don't one want of... you to fucking laugh at me because he won them over he's like fuck you one of my favorite lines he said was fuck the flyers right <laughs> he goes, remember when they wore slacks <laughs> you know, it was just like the word slacks and then he just uh, like he's, he's like, going fucking bell's broken and fuck then he you goes, fuck the liberty bell <laughs> says, I think he shit on, he shit on rocky I think he, yeah. may, he was well, on he fire was like, you guys worship a fake fighter oh, he joe frazier is, is from here he like you he, he's right there and you, you haven't guys seen are, it was 11 minutes of him just he God was damn it, it was, my brother charlie was getting pissed because he kept going back to the flyers and he's like yeah. the phillies the name they're a fucking female pony. Like, like yeah, I you mean, leave the just, flyers out of it. <laughs> you say what you want about the Liberty Bell. You leave the flyers out of it. I agree with you it. on that Liberty Bell shit, but you leave those flyers out. I was crying. I was the like, risky God, play. He was, it, was, it was like a huge oh, they'll show. Kill you no, he was at a like huge that. show, but they really they loved it. I, I, I think they just liked the abuse because it was an O and A. Yeah, Obi and Anthony th- show. And well, I think like, it too. It's like if a crowd's like that, you like he did. He committed to it. He's like, fuck you. Artie Lang. A dice. They all have these like aggressive, aggressive, crowd. wild. Like these two guys would not fucking shut up. And no matter what I said, and I kept, I was burying these guys. And the crowd was loving it, but these two guys wouldn't shut up. Right. So then I go, <laughs> I go. Uh, How old are these guys? About probably like older, fifty, sixty. Okay, that's too, uh, you know, too I'm not old good for, at age, but too old for that sort of shit. They're 100%. not like twenty. Hundred percent. They were older. So Andrew comes out. He's doing his thing. He addresses them. Shut up. Whatever. Buries them. Moves on. Buries them. Moves on. Then he goes, "Why am I? What is your problem?" And he's like, "Do you want me to throw you out? Like, can you act like adults?" And then they were like, "We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good." And he gave them a a chance. <laughs> and then they immediately fucked it up. So it turned to. I don't know where they came from, but it was like 900 security guards Jeez. all excited to fucking literally physically throw somebody out. Does anyone get the seats? Because you said they were up front. They were right up front. Does anyone it, get moved in? No. No one gets moved Nobody in. Nobody got moved in. It was so funny. And I go, Andrew, I went out to why? watch Why? Like them. they paid to go. Like what's the, why go pay it to do to it? It got to the point then... where the guy threw his drink down and he's like, now you're throwing your drink down. Oh, like, <laughs> but, oh, it was so bad. And, but it was, I mean, the audience 
loved it. Like when he was throwing. Oh, I'm people sure out, that's what a dice. Like, yeah, that's what a dice yeah. crowd wants. They're probably like, "Let's kill him." <laughs> <laughs> but they physically. That's what I love about like the East Coast. I got a guy they physically. Don't give a fuck. I got a guy physically removed from here. It was that's uh, hard. This is years ago now. Yeah, it was. I couldn't believe because a it. lot of people don't put hands on people out so here. So it was. Uh, Chappelle had bumped me by about <laughs> two plus hours. You see who else? <laughs> he, he kept going. Uh, okay, like and he'd wrap it up. Like, you're up, you're up. I'd run in the room. Then he'd be like, "All right, what else?" Uh, and he would just go into like, and I just and I, I said finally to the, I go, "Don't call me in here until he's off the fucking stage. I don't care if he's if he leaves." <laughs> Because I just kept running in. I did it like five or six right, times. I hate that. I know exactly. And he kept going, who's next? And they would say my name and then just right back in. I'm like, what's the <laughs> point? Just to feel it out? Who's next? You know what else is funny so, to it, me? So my spot was probably at like 12 and I went up legitimately after two. They're like, we'll stay. You've stayed. We'll stay open for like okay, your set. Okay. So I was like, whatever. So he gets off stage and uh, pretty much everyone leaves, which is, I mean, why wouldn't they? They just saw Chappelle for two fucking yeah. hours. And as I walk by him, Chappelle's like, this is the night stars are made. To me, I'm like, what? You didn't you thinking you helped me out. <laughs> oh, they go, who's next? They said my name for the hundredth time. And he goes, uh, I don't know this guy, but the fact that he stayed lets me know that he's like a real whatever. Like, he's really in this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, like, in my mind, I'm like, you know you're not being super cool if you say that. Like, you know yeah. that you kind of fucked me. So I get up there, and this guy immediately starts fucking with me. Okay. And I go, look, dude, this is the wrong, you like, is the wrong night to try to fuck with. You want to fuck? Like, I just waited two plus hours and he yeah. kept going. Kept, and I was like, I just fucking went scorched earth on this guy. But he just wouldn't, like that. Like, he wouldn't shut up. Like, yeah. I, I defeated him. The rest of the crowd liked it. And he just wouldn't stop. And so it's, I was like, he started saying, make America great. Like, this is years, like, with Trump. I'm like, okay. What so are I go, you all right, dude. Like, it? I'm done. And so Cowboy Curtis, who left uh, <laughs> to go to Austin, security guard. Yes, yes. He came in and I go, Hey, dude, security's coming. Like, you're gone. There was two two guys. and uh, Curtis was pretty good at He fucking picked the guy up out of his chair. I saw his feet go up. Yes. He was a smaller guy. And I go, <laughs> I go, I go, take that, you fucking and pussy. And he does it professionally. As I commentated, I go, you pussy. I go, get the hell out of here. Don't ever come back here. <laughs> and then his friend's sitting there, and I go, you have about two minutes before he comes back. You can walk out with your dignity, or you can sit there. He goes, I didn't do anything. I go, all right, man. You want to sit there? And he, he comes over and he like goes to grab him and he guy puts his hands up. He's like, Put it, come on. I'll, I'll, I'll get up. I'll get up. I go, look <laughs> at you, you loser. I go, get out of here. Why do they think they could A, get away with it? Or what do they get out of even fucking doing it? And it's like you just sense. saw Chappelle. Like, what's the like? You're not happy with that? Uh, you, and you got like to I'm see doing him so well that for, I, I get uh, up after two a.m. for twenty dollars. Was that a, a Monday night? It was like, like was some that... random night. No, it was yeah, like I so, had a so spot, but it was like a Tuesday or something. A twenty dollar ticket, maybe twenty five, maybe. Yeah, you got to see Chappelle for an hour, and you still no, decided because it was like two. Oh, something. that's yeah, right. Long. <laughs> I like that you weighed it, though. They got to see the double DVD director's cut of his special. <laughs> I like that you weighed it because a lot of people would have left. It got to the point where, like, I'm in too deep to leave. Like, I've waited, you know, like, I waited too long. Yeah. So it's like, so now I have to stay because I'm, I'm here. I waited too long. But then yeah, I was like, shit, like... I should have left. <laughs> but then it felt great because I'd never gotten anyone thrown out of here. I haven't done it since either. And I was like, that felt pretty decent. I have physically held people. Like the guy who was gonna in get David in, Taylor in contempt of court. Uh, no, who got he, David Taylor? If you don't know David Taylor, he's a uh, likable comedian. Very likable. Very had loving. Some run, had some run-ins. Says some lovely things to people. He had uh, <laughs> a tra I don't know if they were trans. Uh, what's the difference between trans and transvestite? Does that still exist or no? Transvestite. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Transvestite isn't. I think transvestite is just a cross dresser. So he had it? a cross dresser uh, bull charge the stage one time. I don't think got there. He had some guy walk up to him off stage and just punch him and then run. That's so funny. I think he had a bottle thrown at him. No, that, so too. this guy, what he was, it, it was a two couples, very white yuppie oh, couples. Here's the deal. And David was doing. I bet I'm more educated than you. And, oh, where'd you go to college, sir? Right. And then they say, wherever it is, oh, that's a state school. You I know, whatever. To, I went to Penn. Oh, went, that school sucks. <laughs> I went to Cornell. I top went to of Carnegie my Mellon. Oh, Carnegie Mellon, that's Pittsburgh's right. Pittsburgh's own. Then I got into the tech. 
Oh my God. He, I mean, he is ridiculously smart. I get it. But he was, so he, what he I did was. I heard he's was, actually not. He's a con artist. Hilarious. <laughs> what he did was he was picking on the guy because he liked the girl. So he was ripping the guy to shreds in front of the girl. And the guy just got humiliated. And I was waiting tables at this point. So this guy gets up and he breaks the fucking bottle. Jeez. Frazier was hosting. Ooh, man. So, man. He is gonna kill you, David. <laughs> I think David was the last comic because it was over. <laughs> the guy went, as David was walking, Frazier was like on stage going, well, thanks guys, good night, whatever. The guy was walking over to David and he had this fucking bottle like right at his side and I was like, oh, this motherfucker's gonna cut David? My pseudo Jesus. husband? How dare you? And he's got a lot, he's like 6'6", six, six. he's got a long torso right. to stab and i just body blocked this guy and i go hey, hey you gotta pay your bill and i like got in front of him and the guy just looked at me like what are you doing and i was like yeah you gotta put that bottle down and you gotta and i physically turned him around and he went back but he what that guy was hot that guy he was, was gonna like, murder him yeah he was jesus and fraser was like man Eleanor man, first, saved your life <laughs> man first I, I was hosting the night michael richards was at the factory and now this Maybe it's Frazier. He's like me with the Celtics. Bad luck. He's an instigator. I really feel sick about the Celtics. So we got. It's Annie's fault. Do, uh, it, Annie's it, twin brother works for the Celtics. Annie Letterman. Or no, does she? Because I don't know she if works she's for coming Yahoo. down or she's not. I don't know where she is. Man. Um, you know, but. This is a bunch of trash Tuesday. <laughs> A lot of times I invite people to do things and then they go, oh, my God, I forgot. How do you forget? <laughs> is she done with her set? She's yeah. done with her set. So um, this is what happens when you become too big time. Annie is old, pretty big the, time. I, the people you used to know. Annie is literally like one of my favorites to because the weirdest things have happened while you guys used to I'm live hanging in the same out. building. <laughs> Is that too much info? I don't. No, no, want, I don't no, want people to stalk you. It was fine. I. She just. She didn't realize how much of a. Uh, let's. How, what's the word I could use? Cunt. I could be. Whoa. Uh, when people, you know, I hate when people are like, "Oh, I, I do stand up at the comedy store." I'm like, yeah. And you, you don't know who they are, right? Now, if I don't know who you are, and you say you work and do stand up at the comedy store, that's weird. But correct? back in the day, uh, probably. I don't know how long ago, but before this era, there was like all those bringer shows. So people like, but Doesn't still matter. that is, but it is still that, bullshit. But you bet where people who would do those shows. Right. So you're, she, so you this didn't know. girl said. Some people were like, oh, I'm a regular there. And you're like, no, you're not. Right. And they're like, what do you mean? No, you're not. Like, I know everyone is a regular there. You're not. Right. We we are regular. So you plan like, much. it's not a huge thing. Like, I know every, like, I know the name at least. I may not know them personally, but I know who they right. are. Right. You're like, oh, okay. Their name's on the wall. Like, yeah. maybe they were here for. I've a seen year them, or I know or who they month. are. Like, I know everyone who's. Like, everyone does. Right. So this person said that they perform at Except the store. Except for the people who lot. bring me up and don't know. <laughs> They're like, who? What? <laughs> Who's this guy? Well, wait a minute. So in that defense, when somebody gets famous <laughs> and they move on and they get in. Like, you know, a million different projects. Like, sometimes I'll meet people and they'll be like, uh, you know, we did 50 shows together. And I'm like, that's awesome. But I really don't remember. But I'm not saying they should know who I am, but they should at least fake an intro. That's all I'm saying. Sure. I would fake just an saying, intro. Oh, this guy's I would great. Definitely You're love it. Fake just, an intro. Who? What? Who? <laughs> For like 10 times. You're like, <laughs> nothing, nothing gives the audience credibility. One and somebody time, saying who 50 times. One time Chris Rock did that to me. Oh, he, shit. I was like, wow. And then I walked like, up I know and he Rick. went, oh, shit. <laughs> I know Rick. This, was, was almost this def- might have been BR before Rick. Remember uh, Martin no, Lawrence been right in the beginning. and Natasha Legero almost uh, that was scrapped so funny. due to a, a name pronunciation. But you see what I'm saying? Like, Is that an asshole move on Martin's part? What happened? Well, then he kept saying, like, I can't say that about her name. And they're like, all right, then just bring her up. <laughs> <laughs> and like, then she ripped him to shreds, right? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Of course. You, you have, have to address to. it or you look stupid. Right. See, I would address and it. And then he was waiting with a bottle in the back. No, he wasn't. That wasn't him. Oh, that was Holtzman that his security guard knocked out cold. That was <laughs> Holtzman. But here's the thing. They weren't waiting in the back. They were sitting by the piano. Holtzman was on stage and he got off stage and went. He beelined it. He went after. After a beef, beelined it right to him. Like, why would you go after somebody? He you, got that's dropped. That's another thing. Like, 
as a comic, you're safe on stage, supposedly. I know some things have changed and people have rushed the stage. But if you get off the stage and you go into the audience, you're fucked. You're free game at that point. That's why I try to only fuck with people on the right side of the room. Because it's comedy, so you leave to the left, <laughs> right through the two. <laughs> so oh you got to only God, fuck you gotta yeah. only fuck on the right. <laughs> You know how funny that is? Like the right side of the room just leaves with their head drooping down. And you're like, like you guys are great over here. I love I hate everyone. This fucking club. If anyone attacks me, this side's got my back, right? <laughs> Tony, is she gone? You don't know where she is. All right. Well. And he's on tour with Chris Rock. Maybe she. That, it's you. You launch careers. Is this, am she, I going to go on tour with someone big after this show? You know what's crazy? I do launch careers. Um, who do you think who do you think will swoop me up? Carrot Top? Tim I, Allen? I, oh my we'll gosh. see what happens. Oh you want to leave that oh open? Oh, It's hot shit. in here. I love the, just the empty chair. You know what? Whoa. It's waiting for you. Are you sweating or is that I'm water? I'm sweating so hard. You got How some, was the, I had this. No, I boob, I, you, you got some boob? Even, you got some booby sweat. You don't even need boobs to have boob sweat. Hey guys, this episode is brought to you by our new sponsor, Fucking Good Soap, for dirty mouths and clean bodies. I don't know if you guys caught that. There's sexual innuendo there. So this is the, the soap. Stop using fucking bad soap. You deserve some fucking good soap from fuckinggoodsoap.com. They had the fucking, the decency to get the website that their, their actual name is. You got to give them credit for that. Handcrafted in small batch at process. Most fucking good soap bars contain only seven natural and organic ingredients and start at just $7 each. That's a fucking steal and we all know it. Choose from 15 incredible scents, including spearmint and peppermint, ginger and lime, cucumber, melon, and of course the insanely popular man bar with its perfect combination of mahogany and musk. That's some good, some good fucking smell, you know? Fucking good soap is not responsible for any child support payments you may incur after using. That's, see, that's a gag, guys. But they're, they're, that's not for real. You, you can't talk to the lawyers about that. Uh... So yeah, support a small business, smell fucking good, feel fucking good, and fuck some shit up. I mean, I think that says it all. Well written. You know, gets right to the point, lets you know. Go to fuckinggoodsoap.com and use the promo code Comedy Store. That's one word, you savages, for 10% off your entire order and just get a ton of it, guys. I'm, I'm going to make so much bank off of this, all right? That's fuckinggoodsoap.com for dirty mouths and clean bodies. God, that's hot. Really? I am um, trust. No, I know. I wore this fucking pleather jacket on stage. Actually, I think this might be real leather. I don't get people who wear. I can't wear a jacket <laughs> on stage because I sweat. I am. A... No, I didn't even. It didn't even cross my mind. I just was like, oh, this will look cool. And then I was like, but I've I'm seen fuck. pictures of you. You wear jackets a lot on stage. But it it's always a problem. I don't remember. But I'm also one of those people like when I'll come in from like walking the dog or something and Todd will be like, is it hot or cold out? I'm like, I have no clue. He's <laughs> like, you're out for 20 seconds. <laughs> Unless something happens to like jog my memory. Like, Remember Ralphie? I would, get, I would have to get mugged or something. Remember like, Ralphie made did this special in the big orange leather jacket where he looked like a pumpkin. I was like, how oh is he not God. melting? The great how pumpkin. many people had to make that? How many Chinese boys made that fucking? <laughs> it was eighty six cows. <laughs> that is so funny, Ralphie. He controlled. They like he prevented a lot of methane from getting into the environment. People I'll show like, you a picture of people it. Were like, no, Ralph, I, I, people were like, people like Ralphie died. I go, was it a car accident? <laughs> It was a uh, rollerblading accident. Oh boy! Oh, oh my god! Was he running the stairs? He could die. He could die from rollerblades easily. Hundred percent. I once saw. Him. I know rollerblades could die from. I roller know. This they was sure pop, years pop, pop, before pop, pop, pop. he died, and I was looking at him. I was I've like, "How is he up? How is he upright? His yeah. legs. It didn't look like it worked. It's just weird to just be dying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Slowly You're dying. <laughs> Slow suicide. Ralph, aren't we all dying? No, you're right. Look at that. I know I am. You're Look right. at that I'll be... orange leather. <laughs> Damn, that is a lot. I don't know if you remember that. I think it was Comedy Central. <laughs> There's a lot of leather. He was skinny back then, though. Yeah, he was like uh, 400. That was, was really... Anorexic. He was a tiny guy. He was guy. a rexy guy. Before uh, TLC yeah, swooped him this. up. Let's make sure we got that. Zoom in on the sweat. This is my side. Hot. This is my side. How was the main room? It was fun. I love it. I went up with nothing, bro. I said, I'm going up with nothing. You didn't even bring the sword? Do you still do the sword? No, the sword was a Brody okay. moment. I remember because I, I used, almost to, spit, you I used to follow you and you, you, you should have taken up... the sword. I, because I was following like Galern or something. You should have passed the sword like... on to me. <laughs> oh, so you, you, you wanted to wake him up with the sword. I was 100% smacking him for like, wake up. <laughs> but sometimes I'd go in like a prime spot with it and I was like, why did I do that? But it was fun being sword girl for a little of while. Of course. I thought it was Annie had a lot of weapons in her. I had moments. I've had I was I was telling I'm him Madonna. 
But not Madonna now. I or she's told- her legs are all spread. <laughs> oh, Madonna. She's yeah, why is she being such I a hoe like at it. this age? I kind of like she's it single? because it's Well, let me so rephrase bad. that. She's always been a hoe, but like, uh, I, she's my favorite hoe, but right. I, I Are guess- you scared she listens? No. You're she, acting like she, she listens. She's acting no, no, like, no, I like, always. I, 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 now that Rick's with Chris Madonna. Rock, we don't know who's listening. Oh, you never some know. Some of his new friends. <laughs> we know who isn't, Rick. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the Rick and Rock tour. I know. What's is... going to come of this Rick and Rock tour? I, we were talking about it because it's like a lot of times people open for people and it's like, Oh, that's kind of cool. But this is different because this Absolutely. is someone who's been just like incubated, ready to pop. And then now they're getting in front of when a huge audience. You pair and, that with the Oscars where Rock like, oh, he hit him at like a crazy yeah. like, moment where what Rock's was it, like. three days after? Yeah. Like, they started I remember the looking in the fucking like on E! Online. It's like, oh, Chris Rock I mean, spotted first time. Rick's just sitting there with a bag behind he him. He bumped me so many times that I had I had to consider whether I was on his side. There was like a Rick, moment where I was like. why would he do that? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rick. If Rick comes back and fucking starts bumping us he just takes on rock's persona fully i think they come in together and they dual bump he's like i'm oh after my him God. they're like bumping mics <laughs> yeah maybe there's a new duo oh my Rick bumping and rock. comics bumping comics bumping co- yeah. they just come in and bumping bump. cocks they just ebony and ivory oh rick my and rock. god rick and rock <laughs> i like it and then rick rubin will produce is anyone rick rock rick is anyone course. in contact with rick how's he doing of course uh, yeah, we talk to him all the time. You yeah. talk shit on other comics. I yeah, mean, how is he doing? I, oh, okay. Well, he's good. He said, he, like, I check in on him because, you know, this is the first time he's away from his kids like this. Uh, like, this is hard. Rick was, you know. He daddy. set the template for uh, Eliza to go out on the road without her kids. <laughs> That's what I heard. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but. It said it was an, he was an inspiration. I thought she was bringing her kid out like this at the end. Nah, see, nah, no, nah, no, that's nah. her dog. Oh, okay. The dog can go. The kid One in each hand. <laughs> I got a carrier for my dog where like his long legs hang out. How is like Randy? Farm. He's fucking adorable. What kind of dog do you have? Yeah. It's like a Mexican street dog that was sold oh. to me as something else. But <laughs> a churro. You didn't rescue it? It turned into a rescue in the end. Uh, what do you mean a Mexican? Did you get it in Mexico? I got it from a Mexican woman who, like, we were in her laundry room in Palmdale. And she was like, what were you who doing doesn't in Palmdale? love Annie? Get in this Can fucking you just dog. Explain? Oh, she said, come to my laundry room. I got some dogs in here. <laughs> I, I, Let me open up like, my dryer. She was like, purebred. She had, like, a thing on construction paper that said it was purebred. I was like, okay. On construction paper. I mean, it was, like, folded. It was, like, <laughs> and and I go, where? And then she has three dogs that look the same. I go, oh, are they brothers? And she goes, no, they're all from different litters, which is like bad. That means that they're puppy mill. And then I was like, okay, I didn't know that. And then so we take the puppy, and I asked him where she got. It. I said, where do you get it? Where'd you get them from? She said Mexico. No, um, was it cash FX. only? Cash only. Which is shady. Eight hundred bucks. Like the dog should have been twenty bucks. But I would have wow. paid a million dollars. I love him. He's the but funniest is, thing. with the shots, everything, or you had to do that after? They gave some shots, and then I got him more. Got but it. But then is he vaccinated? He's, well, I, the funny thing is, before he got his vaccines, I opened for Rob Schneider. I brought him, and Rob, I, Rob's like, put him on the ground, let him run around. He's, I was like, he hasn't gotten vac- vaccinated. He goes, do not vaccinate your dog. He's like, it, it'll change his DNA. He was dead serious. He's a right? dog autism. He go, no, he literally was like, your dog's going to be all fucked up. <laughs> and really? then, yes, he was dead serious. What? And then I of took, all the causes to jump on. But then that seems... right after I got his vaccine, it turned out he had mange and all of his hair fell out and he looked like a chicken. Like he literally, Whoa. it looked like Rob was. And Schneider's like, no, I told like, you. I told you. <laughs> wow. That might be some Rob Schneider Santeria curse. I will tell you, Rob Schneider, if you're listening. Him and Madonna are... You're the man. You're the animal. You're the hot chick. He definitely listens. Him and Madonna listen together, I think. (laughs) They're dating right now. He's cheating on his wife. His Latino wife. He's got a hot wife, doesn't he? Yes, he does. She's younger than... She's a year younger than me. His brother's wife is really hot, too. Really? Who's his brother? I've... Don't Bob do Schneider? that. I forgot. I think it's John. Is he a comic? No, he's a manager. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, he's Tom Green's manager. Oh, really? Yeah. How's he he's got doing? gorgeous kids. Tom Green like, moved back wife. to Canada, didn't he? He's like, Tom, I can know. you get out of your car? He's just out of a river every day. It's like, Tom, are you all right? Is, have you, he hasn't been the same since way, Drew Barrymore think... dumped him after their house <laughs> burned down. That's what Andrew does to him all the time. He's he talks like, about Are you still it? upset still... about Drew Barrymore? Every what time. a weird moment in time when he was married to Drew Barrymore. Were they married or were they dating? Married. They married. They married and married. then their house burned down. Man. Mm-hmm. He's so funny. He's such a like the original troll funny though. Like, oh, absolutely. Like I will annoy you to death. Oh, he was a pioneer. He was before yeah. his time, ahead of his time. Like jackass, jackass. Like he was before everything. all that. All that shit. Yeah. No, 
like he was the first one. Yeah, he I got there. really starstruck by him and by Paulie. Like anyone that when, when I was like a oh, because that so you I like MTV. <laughs> They're both MTV. I mean, I like, and I knew better. Like I knew to be like, all right, it's Paulie. Everyone sees him. He's here. Hey, Pauly. bro. You know, but I just was like, couldn't shake Encino, man. I but really... were you, let me, like, you were excited to see him, but you weren't like, oh, my... I got to be around him. No, were you no, like no, that? No, no, no. Okay. Cause... I was like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> because I, I would get like, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm around like a faint, like, <laughs> got I'm around it. someone very faint. Like, not like, I just, the, the first time I saw, I might have told this on here before, but the first time I like met him, um, I had left my wallet here because I have ADD and I'm just constantly leaving. So I came during yeah. the day to get my wallet. I'm obsessed with her. And Polly was here, but I was on the phone with Barry Rothbart. Oh. <laughs> Remember him? Where yeah, are you, I Barry? Love Barry? Come back here. He was on the lineup here. a couple of nights ago. Did he show I was up? all excited. I don't. He I Australian? wasn't here. I just saw it. No. Am I thinking of another guy? There's another that guy who's Australian. Well, is... you're thinking of Andy. Um, no, wait. No, uh, I, I like did him that. too. Fuck. I can't Monty. Think of... Monty Franklin. Yeah. Sorry. Doesn't sound at all like Barry Rothbart. Sorry, Barry. No, Barry's cool. You would like Barry. I Barry's know the name. Great. I don't. I don't know him. I know Barry's his name. He's funny. Yeah, but he hasn't been around. It's like Barry, show up. I, I wonder if he's work. Like when I don't see people here, I just assume they're working, like yeah, writing, they're writing or on the road. Stuff. Maybe the I'll show Barry threw him off. He's like, he's like I, I don't know. I don't know. My sitcom. <laughs> that was my idea. What do I do now? What the fuck? I'm a serial killer. He's always acting and stuff. But he, I was on the phone with him, and I just started laughing. And he goes, "What are you laughing about?" I'm looking at Paulie Short. Paulie handed me the. Well, Dude, right? I just yours? started laughing, and like then he went goes, through it. He goes, "It's funny, huh?" And I was like, "It's undeniably pretty funny that you're the one that handed me my wallet." <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know you work here during the day, Polly. So like, I always assume he showers in that shower in the green room. I'm like, "Who's <laughs> toothbrush?" No, that's in here? not him. That's yours. The Josh and Mac Lindsay and who else? Josh, Mac? Josh Martin for a minute. Josh Martin. This Mitzi. comic. They never let they me shower. Mitzi's here. body. This. <laughs> This comic used to come out, <laughs> Mac Lindsay. He would come out on the stage in a Where robe. Is Mitzi? Can we bring Missy out here? Where's Mitzi's her body? here. Let's Mitzi. shower her down. I think she was in Jeff Scott's apartment. Oh so my god, that's that the she thing. She killed the, him. It was Mitzi. They're investigating. I once saw Polly. Oh, sorry, continue. go ahead. No, you said. I just once saw Polly. One of the worst things that I've ever seen happen to somebody. I was doing the sign out front on Sunset. <laughs> And it was uh, Chris Rock was here. Rick's uh, the guy who opens for Rick now. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Louis C.K. in his prime, and then one other huge comic, and they were all just talking out front. And Paulie goes up to him, he's like, "What's up, guys? Hey, bros!" <laughs> and like, they were like, they they were talking to him, but you could tell it was kind of like, oh, "Yeah, all right." Like, up? we do a different thing. So then this woman walked by, spotted them all, and she's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, I got a picture." And pa Paul, they all pose, and Polly puts his arm around. She goes, "No, you take it." Handed it oh. to Polly. Handed the phone to Polly. She gets in the fucking picture. Did he? Did he and go he to took grab? It. Did he, he go to it. grab the phone and go like this? I don't yeah, know, right? but I, I just was like, "Oh Do you not man!" Know who I am and Wait, can I tell a joke that I can only tell on this podcast? Sure. Well, sure. Was it have racist? you seen the new? Oh. Yes. Did you have you seen the new uh, movie that's coming out? The Ethan Hawke horror movie called The Black Phone. I just saw it. Shouldn't it just be called The Android, <laughs> The Galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> There's no other place for that but this podcast. No, I think you bring that internationally. I think you bring that everywhere. Nobody laughed. Why? Bring it to Trash they Tuesday. Laugh. I did it on stage and they didn't. No, I, I wouldn't even dare. It's only for you. We're what? Android people. Oh, but <laughs> you think Rob you? Schneider and no. Madonna are going to like it? Because they listen a lot. I think Rob Schneider will love that. Rosie O'Donnell's a listener. Rick's well. going to play this before the show just to get all hyped up. They Definitely. play this on like free show to get you guys publicity. You know what, though? How is Rick's act working in a huge arena? It's killing, apparently. And how? But how? They're filming. They have it on a screen. Oh, yeah. He, they, oh, my God. They're accommodating Rick. This is so good. Well, well, when I think when Chris saw him, he was just so fascinated by his crowd work. And yeah. when he does a show, he likes to have everybody like no bad seats. So you're filming, you know, you have yeah. a camera on every angle. So with Rick and the crowd work, he just had That's his tour perfect. people be like, hey, you have to that show the dream. person he's talking to. You have, you know, it they all run has up to and be. they mic. They do a quick, uh, <laughs> a quick okay. laugh mic. Guys, like, get a mic on him quick. They do awful. a sound check for each person. <laughs> They're like, like Rick? check, <laughs> test. But, um, I yes. have a question for you guys. Okay, so I did a weekend in Houston. I did maybe two jokes the entire weekend. I just did. I just was like, I'm gonna just have a crowd work weekend. Okay, is that bad or good? Like, I'm I'm fighting. Why with, do you like, think that's bad? I gave some, myself some sort of rule that that's bad. Is that made up? Did you um, 
I did very well. The whole okay. thing was great. That's it. Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Okay. I have no like problem a, with it. Some, some people... Thought in your head, though, sometimes? There's some like, old school comics who, like, who are like that don't like it, but... They'll say that's lazy or whatever. But to me, I love crowd work. It's lazy to just work. do the same jokes in Agreed. the same order. It's and like, to me, it's... Comedy's staff, hard. If you can get laughs however you do it, then... Comedy's hard for you? Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> are you serious? It's, it's so easy! <laughs> It's hard in general, <laughs> is what I'm saying. He's blushing. Oh, <laughs> Eddie, I was telling you. I don't have the talent the level. Because we need you to You're not an be as racist as you I'm are. An <laughs> Your boobs have stopped sweating can, since can you've been over listen. there. <laughs> can we? I'm looking into the camera, okay? okay. Comedy store. We got to just make this cuter down here. What is going on? Talk listen, to our Peter. decorator is Mitzi Peter. from Beyond. So yeah. she put all this up. This is what they lined her coffin with. They had extra, so they just uh, It's like, it can we here. go to Mitzi Bath and Beyond and get some fucking... <laughs> Mitzi's in the Bath you know and Beyond crazy? right now. We have so much of Mitzi's... Um, ashes? Ashes. Separated and, into different... <laughs> yeah, it's just in vials is of she, coke. Did she get... But No, she didn't get cremated. Where is She's the body? Jewish. Jews don't usually do this. No. Jews can't. Where's can. the body? Up Forest Lawn. It's in Let's here. Go. It's in the basement. Of course. Have you been? No, I don't like Eleanor that. Eleanor goes and showcases once like a month just <laughs> to make sure she's still... You, have the f you are... <laughs> Eleanor can't go because she can't hold her breath that long. She Eleanor still has the superstition of a fucking 13-year-old girl. You're not wrong. It's true. But she's like, Mitzi. You are immature. Immature. I have anxiety. Yeah, with that. You are fucking immature. I don't even go to my sister's. Like, I get... I go, but I hate it. Like, yeah. I, I just... Uh, like, to me, I'm like, she's not you really there. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Like, Well, that's sweet because then just, she's like... She's here. You've she's just stopped no believing. What. You're a non-believer in the no, Lord. No, but the, the body is a, you know. But I felt like I went to my grandfather's funeral, and or my grandfather's uh, casket, his grave, um, when I was in Connecticut. My mom was like, oh, your grandfather's, and I haven't seen him since I was like 15. Did and you dig him was, back up? I dug him up. I started fucking blowing him. Oh, my How's, God. Poppy. How's he look? Poppy? poppy Gr yeah. Gringo Poppy? or? <laughs> Is he Mexican? I walked him to the, the question. casket. I walked him Sorry. to the casket. <laughs> he put, she put the casket in the truck. I put it in the so, truck. Oh, God. That hey, thing I is don't wild. know if we're allowed oh. to talk about that. Uh -oh. oh, no. We're going to get it sued. Uh oh. I don't care. I'm on Team I'm Annie. I'm on Team Annie. If anybody cares. You know what I do Team in all these situations? What's I that? I just tell jokes. <laughs> you do crowd work. Fucking, <laughs> you know, man, the world's my audience, and I'm just doing crowd work, okay? That's what it's all I, about. I kind of like crowd work. Like, if, if as a, a great feature, tessa. as a feature, it's kind of fucked up to do crowd right. work. Right. Because if your headliner wants to do that, right. then you don't want to, like. Or some I, people just don't like following it. True. Like I've heard of, I knew a guy who he brought. Um, that his name? I think it was Ian Bag, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm like, you maybe work way too hard." Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, Ian does crowd work. Yeah, That's yeah, his yeah. shtick, which is totally, and he's excellent at it. I don't know, you know Ian Bag, yeah. of course. But so there was a, the other night in Connecticut. Ian's got good rules, though. I like Ian. Yeah, but he knows what he like. Li he's like, "Look, I'm you should have bring... rules when you're headlining. Like, you, it's like no, it I, wasn't okay, him though. He was want to make feature. it harder for oh, you. He was the feature. Yeah, he was featuring the headliners. Like, I don't want to fucking. But how do you feel if a feature asked to sell? Merch. Fine. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. I mean, no. You say no? No. I like. I've worked so hard to get my specific audience to come. I have my merch line. I'm meeting everyone. What do you sell? Why would you distract? I sell T-shirts and some. Oh, I have my new merch. Yeah, show it off. T-shirts and some. My T-shirt. I threw out in the audience already. You're like these are sweat worn. <laughs> Dice used I sell to. These. <laughs> Dice used to sell his sweaty That's shirts. He, he would, would sell the shirt. The sweaty shirt. He would do an auction after the show. You got oh my heart god! Look how cute! Annie fucking Letterman on the side. I made them leopard print. Where'd oh my you get god, those? I love them. I, my business manager found a merch company for me. Man, you look like a young that. Jesse Ventura. From That's the me. Day. That's me. <laughs> single. He's single now, isn't he? Jesse the body single. Oh no, no wait. Who am I thinking of? Randy. Randy who? Macho Man Savage. He's dead. No. Randy, her dog. Roddy, Come on. Piper, also dead. It just went out of my head. John Cena. You're thinking of um. <laughs> Of uh, what's his name? He was here. Rick you Flair. took a picture of Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Randy, Randy dated him for a week. Dude, he gripped me up and I was down. You I mean, I wasn't the, down to actually you got you in the figure four. But I, I love the sunglasses. I got to tell you, he, thank you. So you say nay nay on a feature I just, it selling. doesn't make any sense. Okay. What if you were the feature though and you're like, I just, I would never something. have, you wouldn't do wouldn't it. even ask. But it depends. If it's a friend I'm traveling with, we've worked it out maybe, but it's, what if it's Esther? 
No. Also, Esther, Daddy, can you imagine Esther? has Esther, her own shit, doesn't she? Can you imagine Esther... I'm selling tie-dye sweatpants, Taking please. less money than me? Have you met <laughs> Esther Bovitsky? Can <laughs> you imagine a world where Esther is taking less money than me on the road? Don't do this to me. She would take... She would want more <laughs> money and she would do Esther's 20 amazing. minutes less than me. She'd somehow get me doing 45 minutes. <laughs> that is so funny. Esther's so merch. funny. When I realized... Okay, I have been friends with her for 13 years. Whoa, I don't know it's your why. guys' bar mitzvah. Here. It's our yes, it's bat mitzvah. Don't be fucking sorry. Funny. Yeah, Jeff. Well, God. You're terrible. misgendering us. Um, <laughs> I doubt it's a double offense. Because we're they. It's a quadruple offense. It's true. Whoa. Sorry, Esther. So I realized I don't know why it took me this long. Her value is money. If you talk to her about money, you can get her. Sometimes when I'm on stage, Good. I try to. Face I wish someone. I had no, that. In a beautiful way. Yeah. She's only half Jewish. Go figure. No, but in a beautiful way half. with with. <laughs> Pretty go figure. But okay, so she goes, no, on that little body, it's quite a figure. Yeah, she's ridiculous. But she'll, I'll text her or try to FaceTime her while I'm on stage sometimes. She won't pick up. Okay? <laughs> I go to the audience. I go, I got to text her something that's going to get her. I go, quick, call me. It's about money. And she'll call me like immediately. <laughs> 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 even still, even though you've burned her before, she's like, this might be I real. Do, I got to put time in between. I got to put time right. in between. You got to be like, I have forget. a plan. I, I think we can get a clothing sponsor or something. <laughs> Oh my God! That's we make we so hatch plans fun. all the time. It's fun. What's no, your latest? We need a friend like that. I don't have any friends. We like want to get like a makeup sponsor. We want to get like all these. You know, we want to be like into makeup, isn't she? We, well, is she? I thought she was. I, I feel like she always never wears makeup. No, she, always, yeah, looks, she has perfect skin. If someone puts makeup on her, it happens. But okay, right? And but she does likes good makeup. makeup. How are the Whitney Cummings parties? I've heard you're big in the scene over there. They're fun. Listen, Whitney brings a weird eclectic group together. They're really who's over fun. there. I like that. Okay, I last saw video party. footage of Esther's. Uh, are they married or just uh, fiance? They're fiance. I saw him reading on the floor in a corner. Yeah, we were uh, getting I saw like you, cards you were eating read. cake with your hands. Yeah, I, uh, did. What I else think he's been happening? stalking you. Yeah, I've been checking it out. I go to the parties via uh, Instagram videos. <laughs> well, you got kids. You're busy. I'm gonna bring my kids over there. You should sometimes. Okay, so Whitney four had and eight a, months. No, Whitney had a party where she like. She said everyone was going to, I think it was Thanksgiving. She was like, well, watch movies and stuff. Nobody at a party is watching movies, like, ever, right? But she told um, good Jim party. Jeffries that there were going to be kids. Oh, yeah. Right? So Jim Jeffries <laughs> comes with his kid, and his kid just over the pool. It's just like, everyone's just like adults having adult talks over there. There's just one kid, right? How he's old? Like, he's like, I think he was like anywhere from seven to nine. You know, okay, like not old an age. enough where it sucked yeah. a lot. Yeah. You know, like nobody's paying attention to you. There's yeah, he nobody just goes, to play with. He goes, Daddy, fun. he goes, Daddy, do you think there'll be popcorn when we watch the movie? And I'm looking, I'm like, there's no movie, kid. You got to get the <laughs> fuck out of here. He's like, your there's dad no just needs to, to cut, cut the cord and leave. You man. Gotta, your dad made a big mistake trusting Whitney Cummings. <laughs> but so um, this last time I, I messaged her. I like her boyfriend a lot and Todd likes her boyfriend. So I go, it's Todd's, uh, my boyfriend. I go, it's his birthday on Tuesday. Do oh, you want to yeah. go on a double date? And she's like, yeah, or I just got my house renovated. Like, let's just have a party here. And I was like, okay. She's like, who do you want to invite? I was like, I don't care. Invite whoever you want. She always invites a funny amount of people. Weird groups. Was Madonna there? Oh. No, Kesha was. Oh, shit. Our generation's Madonna. Kesha. <sighs> was the Cash Me Outside girl there? Was no, worth 50 but million um, now? Hannah Stocking was there. There were a lot of cool, eclectic. Interesting. It was fun. We had a great time. Yeah. But Miranda Cosgrove, it was a fun time. But so... Uh, on that was on like a Sunday. I told her it was Todd's birthday. So then that Tuesday, I get a call on Monday, and she goes, "Hey," or a text message from her. She goes, "Hey, we're having people over on Tuesday. You want to come?" And I go, "You already forgot what this was about." If she, she didn't, but if hours, she didn't invite you, would you have been would to that, my own boyfriend's party? Would that have been weird? <laughs> would you have been insulted? No, we would have just gone out to eat or something. To my own like, fine. boyfriend's party. <laughs> this was is like, so she's like, why does the birthday cake say And then talk? she was like, oh, oh. She goes, oh, I, oh, I thought it was on Wednesday. I go, you're so full of shit, bitch. She completely forgot. She got so caught up in her, like, inviting. But right. it was so fun. She has CTE. Really. She used to fight MMA, I think. CTE. <laughs> <laughs> that would oh make her God. happy. She'd be like, yes, she I have that. She fell a couple times climbing the ladder back in the day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> It's a slippery ladder. She had, she, it's the greatest bandages. thing ever with Whitney. We, there was a Christmas party. It was CAA's Christmas party. Yeah. And it was right on Beverly by Jerry's Deli. And there was a little cute little bar right, right next to Cedar it. Sinai. 
Yes, but so we were uh, across right the street, and so we were at this party, and I saw Whitney. I was like, oh, a, fa- a familiar face, because it was all these CAA suits, whatever. So we walk around. I introduce her to people I know. She introduced me to people she know. We went all the way around the party, and then we got to the r- front. She went... I'm out. There's nobody here that can further my career. And oh I stayed for like another God. two hours like an asshole. That, and that's why <laughs> she is where she is. And I'm in the basement with Jeff. And I you. mean. <laughs> We're locked in here. But it just, it what was, did you do me, at that party to blow it? <laughs> <laughs> to me, I thought, man, that is fucking smart. After she that, knows, like, she, she worked knows this, she where worked everybody business. worked. No, she told me she that. Knew, yeah. She told me that she's like, when I came to Hollywood, I found out who everyone's agents were. Exactly. I was like, I didn't I still don't even know what an agent does. Like, I'm still confused. <laughs> <laughs> you need a Rolodex. Exactly. I'm like, what the hell? Does she, she have notes or is it just all that's why she can't remember your boyfriend's birthday? She, listen, things <laughs> are happening she's got all that shit in her head, head at all times. Things Too many banks. Now. They're all filled with different stuff. So she <laughs> I can't remember. Was her doll there? I, I think it's I'm incredible. like addicted to her. I leave her house and I there's like two days where I'm like, I Love her. Like I'll get mad or something. Like, wouldn't you fucking bitch? And then like, uh, there's three days after I see her where I'm just like, ah, oh, Whitney. Does she still have that? Um, what is it? it? Was like that doll she made for her special? Is that oh, thing like at the, the party? Doll. That served drinks. It's not a but... doll. It's a robot. What do you think? It's like an American girl doll. It's a real robot. Real doll but real like, dolls Whitney, a robot. just sell it for a million dollars. Have someone fucking jerk off to it. We've seen enough. Jerk off. They're gonna that impregnate expensive. that thing. <laughs> Have a fucking oh my God, baby. <laughs> wow, that'd be cool. They have a little robotic Whitney baby. Being sa- Me and my friend Lexi Shoemaker used to always say, uh, what would Whitney do? No matter, every time we had a situation. Oh, that's so funny. Because we were like, you should have said it louder. We were trying to pitch us. I trust. I, we were trying <laughs> to pitch got shows. Bracelets made. And we were like, what would Whitney do? How would Whitney handle this? She and we would try it. every angle, but nothing worked. We weren't nearly I know, she as really good. It is like a whole thing. It's one of a kind. She could teach a class on how to. Get your Win. shit together. Win. But, it, but if she did, then she'd have competition, so she wouldn't teach the class. True. We were we were gonna do only questions about your brother because we were so upset about the Celtics. We're both. Did they win? No. Did your brother writes for Yahoo? Right, Max Letterman. Is that correct? Yahoo. Your twin brother. Yahoo. Is that wrong? He um he works for um um. NBC Sports. Oh, okay, sorry. In Boston. Does he go to the games? Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Me too. I was there Friday they night, lost. and they yeah. lost Friday uh, night, and they lost tonight. And I'm. He's a Sixers fan, though, right? Or no? Yeah, he's, he's been in Boston for a while. No, I'm, I'm, just, a, I'm just. I'm a Sixers fan. No, I'm just fan. saying. He was like, definitely like, you know, his wife won the Where Are We Gonna Live? Because she's from Boston. Okay. So she won, and so he's been in Boston since college. Did he go to school up there? Uh huh. He went to Northeastern. Nice. Ooh. I know. Is that cool that my brother is like a? Is he boys with the Celtics or is he just? Uh, I don't know. A girl I went to high school with um, Blew had them? sex with Michael Olowo Candy. Really? And Former number everyone? one pick for the L.A. Clippers, then ended up in Boston. Seven foot, like one dude from the Virgin Islands. I think. Did she tell you, or you just saw? I know. I think word got around. That, you saw uh, the video. She, yeah. she and the Candy Man. <laughs> oh my God! You guys, fucking seven footer on his last special did a joke about one of his friends, um, one of his girlfriends who like went on the tour bus for Wu Tang and like blew all of the Wu Tang. Man, he, like told this That's kind of like, a lot of blow. It's kind of like a tragic story, and and then he goes, even ODB, you know, and then he goes, and he goes. You know, but she's from Philly. So then for oh, like years, it's Eleanor. just been, No, but they say it's me all the time. I'm like, <laughs> it's so annoying. I'm like, and everyone knows I have TMJ. <laughs> Wait, how long ago? Is this an old special? It was or like is three this... years ago. I get comments all the time about it stuff. So whose dick was the best? Method Man? <laughs> <laughs> he said even ODB. What a dick. Um, ODB was always late to the bus, especially at colleges. because they was would, getting he'd, blown. He'd be in the dead. dorms. They'd be like, where the fuck is he? He'd be gone. Oh, my God. He like, used to come here. I waited on him. Yeah, yeah, Betty did like, come here. You were working. I wanted to fuck famous people. That never was like no, a thing I wanted No, that's disgusting. Who would get on a, a bus and blow? Wu-Tang has what? 18 fucking I had aspirations. I like believed in myself always. I like thought I was going to be good at. Yeah, but some people's aspirations are like, I want to blow all of Wu-Tang. That's, <laughs> no, that's I think a bucket that was kind of what the joke was. And then when she came out, she was like, it wasn't as I thought it would be. <laughs> There's nothing I don't remember. <laughs> good as I thought it would Wu-Tang be. Wu-Tang Clan the- ain't nothing to suck with. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Christina Pazinski's special yeah. was flawless. I know, and she looked cute too. I liked her like she looked, she looked it, like a Vegas like act, like she was doing a whole thing. It's like one of the first uh, specials I've got through the whole thing. I and know. Why. Isn't, that, isn't that wild? I know how it's that because happened? we're comics and it would judge you. harder. How dare you judge yeah. all those specials like that? I heard she like smashed in um, Austin too with her new stuff. 
whatever this weekend th- this well, th- i don't know what it is like you know you know i guess coming into your own kind of a thing she's a mom she's just so much fucking pressure that it's like when she's up there it just lets yeah loose. and so she just puts it all out isn't it so weird how she looked hard gorgeous it to watch a and it was usually it had such a great through line it was amazing she really is so fucking pretty too it's like yeah you kind of like forget people are pretty because we do this disgusting trash job well we that's oh, really fun <laughs> it is a lot but it is like gross what are we doing uh, well, sometimes I do go on stage like a slob like tonight I'm hosting and I'm dressed do you ever feel hot up there though you're like I'm pretty hot sometimes I'll get you remember when like <laughs> yeah, you have such a good ass like do you ever like turn and you like see someone looking like, a million times I'm like guys get my better side and I turn, <laughs> you do a lot of sets like, backwards I, I just turn face that's the curtain Eliza. it's my neck <laughs> Face the curtain. I have a constant crick in my neck. There's a couple <laughs> girls that do that. Remember my butt stance? <laughs> I don't have to say it because it just, it's just... It's just there. Well, it's the stairs. My ex used to... I'm going to do it tomorrow. My ex used to say, hey, somebody's following you. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I, I would look like an idiot. Yeah, like scary. <laughs> It's my big fat ass. It's I scary. get it. Do you that ever feel funny. like you have a better body than Burt Kreischer? Or you think that... I think we're similar. You think? He you might think, have bigger tits. Do you think Bert's like we have the same belly? Upset for that sure. Tig stole his thing. <laughs> Titless. Going what? Going uh, shirtless. Is she going shirtless? She went shirtless. Oh, after she went her shirtless yeah. in her special. After I remember that. But I think I think hers was temporary. Where his is, I think, pretty forever. I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. She, I flew in this morning. I just got tired. It wasn't your joke. I just got tired. Wait, you he just sells came... no merch because he doesn't believe in shirts. That's how committed he is. <laughs> uh, there's not a world where Bert's not selling the most amount of merch. By the way, in the world. it would be hilarious if he only sold pants. He's like, like I on only sell shorts, pants, and boxers. <laughs> okay, so I have. Oh yeah, flip flops. He has flip flops. My, my personal he? trainer, who has been on a movie, so I haven't seen her in a while. I don't want to like. Say so she's let's my do the right stairs now. tomorrow. Okay. I cannot tomorrow. I'm doing a hypnosis course. I don't even week. know what that means. Learn to hypnotize people? By the way, being yes. hypnotized. Well, I already, I already took it once, but I want to do it again to become like an expert. People you want to be learn hypnosis. Who's your favorite person? And I always say Annie, because who the fuck does that? Listen, I'm your favorite comedian, too. <laughs> Where are you doing this? Hypnosis? In, are you going back to Palmdale? The laundry room? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sit on the, I sit on the, the washer. Wait. She puts the quarters in. <laughs> She's like, are you so hypnotized yet? Yeah. You're like, so no, but I had, nor- I had an orgasm a minute ago. You're going to learn how to hypnotize people? Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it just, it, hypnosis has helped me so much. It's like the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life. It's what like, have you I been hypnotized for? Uh, I quit smoking. I like have no, I used to get so nervous before I'd perform. It, I used to, like, my life was like, I was anxious all the time. I'm not anxious anymore. Can somebody hypnotize me to be better at life? Yes. How? Where? You, you'll learn? Annie will yeah. do it. Yeah. Annie will do, do, do it. Annie will do it in two months. I we could do, you. Yeah, I could do, I could do a private one. We could do one on camera. She'll uh, she'll do the office space where I'll you, won't come, out, you won't come out care. of it. Yeah, we'll do it naked. I, I got no problem. Yeah. But listen. You should do an OnlyFans hip, hip, uh, hypnotism. That's a good idea. Ooh. No one's got that market. <laughs> I hypnotize people to get naked. <laughs> You'd be like, watch this boner. You're like, Eleanor, you're already naked. And I don't understand. That's supposed yeah, to be where the we get to. boner's making me sleep. No, it's making me horny. The boner. Reminds me of that bus trip with the Wu-Tang. I've tried to do things like that. Like, I, I, I have no focus. That's why I told you I need uh, that. What's you, that drug that I want? I don't even remember the oh, name. Oh, a- Adderall. Adderall. Can you not be hypnotized? You do not need Adderall. You would be crazy on Adderall. Yeah, but my my brain does this all day. What cleans the windshield? Yeah, that's good. It's helping you. I don't like a dirty windshield. But you have an idea that there's something like wrong with the way you are. No, I mean like just better you want to get at like more stuff executing done. things. Yes, yes, yes. That would. But I'll stay busy. Yeah. But I confuse busyness. With production and right. it's not production. You're right. just busy. Yeah. You're just yeah. You're you're you're. I have a yourself. similar type of feeling where I'm always like, don't feel like I've done enough. Or you go to bed, you're like, ah, oh, tomorrow. I'll... But yeah. Where like, do you oh, take you a like hypnotist a... Uh, hypnosis class? <laughs> it's online. So it's my friend Mary Lou. She was my hip. Now we're friends. Mary, Mary Lou Reisner. Rice cup. Yes, it is. It's Mary Lynn. <laughs> Uh, no. I said Mary Lou Renton. Mary oh, Lou, Jim is I went old school. Yeah. Mary Lou Rodriguez is her name. She's awesome. But I, I did not. I wouldn't pair Mary Lou with Rodriguez as the last. Is that fun? Interesting. Would yeah, you? Right. A That's a white. I Mexican, dated a Mary Lou probably. in college from Florida. Did she fuck the? I'm gonna guess I'm going on next. You hear that applause? Yeah, they're like, she oh, Eleanor's here. the Celtics. Ah, uh, she fucked all the Celtics. Larry Bird, the '80s. Dang, come on, man. <laughs> like, like people say to me, would you fuck Larry Bird? I'm, no, absolutely not. But I'm obsessed. 
I was obsessed with Larry Bird. But like, that's the thing. It's like I don't. I don't like want to fuck the people that I like. Right. But, but like I was asking about Pauly Shore because I would hire waitresses, and the waitresses like Pauly would walk by, and they'd be like, "Oh my God, does Pauly Shore come here?" No, I was. And like I was a like, kid. "You can't work here." I was like a yeah. kid when, like, I was. I look at him like. That I get. Hey, like, buddy. Yeah, it's just a part of your childhood. That's what There's I was thinking no of when I crashed his car into Brody's car. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about how I used to look up to That's him. actually how Brody died. Guys. Brody was not we, happy. We, they we blamed it on Brody. We put a rope around his neck afterwards just to save him. They blamed it on Brody. Please tell. They did? Yeah, he, oh, yeah. It was poor Brody. Like, my heart. But it's a rainy night. We all had a, let's just say we all had a hand in that death. It's a rainy <laughs> night. I'm working the lot. This is so bad. Eddie Griffin, who was banned, but would still come here to hang out, which is uh, a great idea because he's not pissed at the place at all. <laughs> You'd get wasted and he would drive up with like eight cars. And I'm like, Eddie, I can't. He's like, that's little Pee Wee. That's my son. That's, and I'm like, dude, I can't fit all these fucking cars. And he would just leave. And I'm like, great. So he's like, I, get me. I got to get the fuck out of here. Let's go. And I'm like, dude, I got to move some car. I gotta, give me a second. He's like screaming at me. It's raining. I can barely <laughs> see out of these cars. And and while Polly drove a huge Escalade truck at that time in the, the lots so tight. I'm going in and out on the sunset. And Brody came in in the meantime, and he parked on the very edge of the lot, which isn't a spot. And so the back end of his car yeah. was like out blocking. And so I went to look for him. His keys were gone. And I was like, has anyone seen Brody? No one saw him. And he goes, get me the fuck out of him. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll get you out. So I pulled Polly's car off for like the fifth time. As I'm pulling back in, I just hear fucking metal what on metal. What was it? Brody's or Polly's? Polly's. Polly had the Escalade truck, big yeah. white truck. And just, and everyone at the front bar just turns and looks at me because it's right there. Uh, and all I could do was just Brody's drive little it. little Camry. I could just drive it straight. Just scraped it all the way up. I <laughs> crashed my Prius into Candace Thompson's Prius. We had the exact same color Prius once, yeah. What'd she say? Did she she was mad, mad at me because I didn't tell her, but I was leaving. I told, I was mad at fucking Renee because he didn't pull my car out for me. And I was like, Renee, your punishment <laughs> is that you have to tell her. You got to be the one that tells her. <laughs> and then she was like. Why didn't Renee pull your car out? What a dick. I know. I'm a tipper too. Let's go, Renee. All, you need it all like, but it's still my fault. I mean, I was. Do you need it all the way out or just clear of like? Just other, clear of the car of that's the of, same of, color as it. I didn't have my glasses. Yeah. Like, I'm a girl. So you, like you before. hit it hard, or what was there damage? It was just a scratch, but it, mine was more. Mine was dented, and hers was perfect. So I, my, I was like, I just wanted yours to look like mine. I don't get why people drive nice cars into this lot. No, just, oh, just, Sebastian, Sebastian's up here. Just park. remember, Sebastian used to drive in with the little fucking I moped. Some extra little scrapes on the edge, but it came from a valet. I don't think I'm gonna just say it's not from here because I do valet everywhere. You're high there class. Scrape. What? You're high class. Listen, I. It's the hypnotism. It actually, I'm not even kidding. It <laughs> she is. hypnotized no, herself. No, it actually is. She, no, it actually is. She made me listen to a podcast that I love, by the uh -huh. way. Thank you. Do you still listen I'm to getting it? better. Yeah. Jim Fortin. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting better. Jim Norton. At little things. It's close. And <laughs> Similar. Just less success. One and pees on you and one makes you rich. <laughs> Either way, both are fun. But yeah. yeah, I've been listening. And you're right. It's like just the way he talks, yeah. the way he speaks about like... do. Not doing less, like Annie goes, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's like you just but, like to like... But it's just let it come to you. It's and like, it's just, yeah, it's like we can only go as far as we can like imagine we can go. Exactly. exactly. And kids at home, listen up. If you just get onto that Wu-Tang bus and you just suck away, <laughs> you too can be here suck, in this basement. Suck. With the fucking person that's not even the real host. Yes, we have a... How do you say your yes, name? Oh, I always say it wrong. It's Danis. Danis. That's what I... But Okay. No. I guess I had a for years. I let it go uh, mispronounced as Danis, so a lot of people got Danish. confused. I just didn't correct anybody for a long but time. But some people say Danish. I, when I, I always say Danish. But uh, Taylor Danish. Williamson got super pissed at me because I he he thought my real name was Danish, the nickname, and he was like, "What?" He's like, and I was like, what do you mean, what? And he's like, you didn't tell me. I was like, I didn't know you thought that was my real name. Like, what am I just going to be like, hey, by the way, <laughs> just so you know. No, I have one. There's a girl named Dakota, okay? Okay. The white girl that lived in Santa Fe, Dakota called her. Uh, she made feather earrings. White girl. Okay. It sounds like I thought lot Native American of of when you said Dakota. A lot of money, right? I, she's a friend of my friends. I, I like her, but she comes to visit LA, and she's in the car, and I introduce her to my boyfriend at the time. I go, "This is Dakota." She goes, "Oh no, I go by Holly now." I go, "Holly was an option." Holly was an option. What? I'm culturally Over appropriating. I'm I'm rain dancing Cold, right? on the graves yeah, yeah. of the Native American saying this fucking. And your name's Holly fucking Your name was Hobby. Holly the whole time. <laughs> Is her Why? real name? 
Yeah, is she legally Holly? She just made up Dakota. Um, I think I gotta go upstairs. And I host. gotta, I gotta go. I'm dead. I gotta I know stay. You're I'm, dead. Gonna do, I'm gonna do Jeff's a show by gonna myself. Stay I'm gonna call do, Rick and see if he'll answer. I was telling him when Rick, we lived it's in, about money in the same <laughs> building, it's a, and he'll call right back. It's about your kids. <laughs> he I might have not them. call back. I he'll have your have kids. Again. He might not call back. It's for about that Rock's one. kids. Uh, Chris, his kids are grown, so he won't call back either. No. Um, fuck. But I was telling him about what we did, what I did to that lady because I was so mean. I was saying like people think I'm so sweet, and then if somebody's like, "Oh, I perform at the comedy store," and I'm like, oh, she we lived had in your building. Such a good moment. It was so good. We went. I, I mean, I was so mean to we her. She lived like, in your building. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just when people. It's like you're lying. It's like saying, um, "I'm here." I can't stand it. It's like it's like oh, you're at this party like. Are you friends with the birthday girl? And yeah, I know, like, Whitney. Yeah, and then you're like, I'm Whitney. That's like, <laughs> you're like, I, it's my birthday. <laughs> right, right, oh. right. Like, she lied. It was like saying it to, we, like, this to is our us, house. That We're we here work here day. all the time. It just was weird. Like, he was saying, yeah, if somebody came to me and said, I'm a regular, because there was a comic that was going around saying they were a regular at the store, and him and Ryan clearly explain no that person's not a regular <laughs> they got a lot of heat for that but whatever like i don't like when people bullshit because it's hard to get in here so when that lady said it and i just looked at her and i was just well just like oh, you don't know like you so don't understand the story that you didn't realize to not say that to us <laughs> exactly and we but i remember when paul was like our fucking stupid landlord he was like Oh, we have a new stand-up comedian coming in. And my heart sunk. I was like, oh, my God. thinking it was going to be someone we knew. And then it was worse. Someone we've never seen in our lives. And there's that other guy. It's a real stand-up building. Oh, yeah. But yeah. He, don't do that. Is he yeah, still yeah. there? Yes. He is. Yeah. Don't do what you're about to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do anything. But this person was like, yeah, I, I work at the store all the time. And we were like, I just <laughs> well, looked at her. She I was just like, went, which room? I was like, damn. What'd she say? <laughs> my head spun around. I went, damn. <laughs> she say main room? No, she was like the belly like, room. Oh, the belly room. And we're like, oh, bring her show. Doesn't count. <laughs> and not a lot either. Bye. She was a nice girl. She People was just don't know. And she we still became do stand friends up? with her. I've never seen her. I've I don't never, think she ever did. She quit after that. She's like, you know <laughs> what? I'm going to stop lying about Because it. I became friends with her. And then it's like, and then she'd be like, I'm going to go get on. Back and then into it. And you're just like, you're not. You're yeah. You're not going to get back in. There's in two no... years, I have a show. So I'm thinking of like so weird when people, it's like, but also, it's like, if you do want to do it, just go do it. It's yeah, like exactly. when I tell people I have OnlyFans, and they're like, oh, what do you make? You've really, that's your third OnlyFans? Yeah, I'm big. What am I on the Paul Shore show? Is this something you want? I got kids. When I did Paul Shore show, the all he kept talking about was, when am I going to do a fucking... Are you serious? Oh, I was so mad. I, I'm like, dude, I just was on the documentary. Like, it was like the day after the documentary <laughs> came out. I'm like, OnlyFans? I used to go get mad. Um, I don't want to mention the name, but a uh, uh, guy I used to... Hang out with Ari Shafir. He used to be like, he was always like, "You girls are so lucky that you could do OnlyFans." I'm like, "What the? You could do OnlyFans the same way you could 100%. do it. You could fucking you're a couple knock teeth out of giving a fucking great blow job on the street too. Right? It's like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're waiting for. Drop your pants, show your balls. I've been. Oh, that's why I keep bringing it up to plug it. Oh. <laughs> I got the same way I'm plugging my asshole. Well, plug your Libra. What do you got, Libra Pl- weed? Oh, that's weed. Is that Joey Diaz weed? Laughing? Gas? No, it's Gino, right? That's yeah, Gino. It's Tuesday, guys, cocksucker. Smoke my guys, laughing gas. Wash your balls. Watch Trash Tuesday, my podcast. Oh my god, it's so Follow funny. Me on, I just started doing TikTok. It's the numbers are embarrassing. Really? They're low. It's fun. Good for you. I deleted it off my phone, but Who I didn't the delete post- my account. Who is the biggest TikTok between you, Esther, and Kalila? Esther. Esther does. Esther TikToks a lot. They, she think, does? they think that she's their age. She's Esther's good at like, it. Esther's very good at it. Like, it's like things this. I wouldn't even. She'll be like, do you ever wake up? Like she posted one time. Do you ever wake up in the morning and like, not want to get out of bed? And then she's like said something else and she just like looks like all sweaty still. And it's like crushing. It's like <laughs> she's like, she'll be like. If you don't like coffee, I don't like. Like she just says things that everyone's like. And thirty seconds. She says it's fast. fucking thirty. Or she seconds. does ones that are really good that are like, she's like, I'm a comedian. This is a night in the life of getting ready to go, and it's like her getting dressed and driving to the store, and then her like coming. It's cool. Yeah. She does like thoughtful things. See, I think that's good. I'm not good at this shit. But I like to. I want to put my stand up on because I want to like get my stand up. I like do all my like crowd that. work. I, I want to. I want to just sell out every fucking place I go. That's all. Hundred percent. Obviously, that's all. I, I just want audience. I just want people to come out and see me perform. Just have a good that's fucking all. time. Just come out, laugh. It's fun. I promise. Listen, we're all very good at it. I'm excellent. <laughs> About these okay. guys. Okay. Are you? Sorry. 
No, it was annoying yeah. having Eleanor. Eleanor did my show in Philly. I was like, oh my god, why did I invite her? Didn't you say? <laughs> I'm, oh my god, didn't you say I'm never letting line. you fall? Great. Oh, she was killing. I love I was like, punchline. Annie, you fucking killed. Shut I know, up, but it's like. And, and, it was, Peggy. and the way Peggy, it was like, Peggy. I was like, hey, do you want to see three of the same people doing a we slightly were, different we all, act? We were all wearing the Adidas. We were showed up wearing the exact ghetto. same outfit. <laughs> like, I'm like, not kidding. Oh. Like, same shoes, same jeans. You guys are run DMC. <laughs> it was so funny. I had a Kango. It was amazing. We went on a tour bus, and then I blew us. Speaking of uh, tour buses, I don't know if you're... Are you in, I have a truck in the lot. I just wanted to know if you, you want to check it out. Can you fit it, or do you need to walk to it? No, I, it's it's in there, but I, I did need someone to walk me there because, uh, I don't know, people have been following me and stuff. Yeah, I mean, here. True. I mean, let's just say this. If we, either, either can of I just you, say, or can either I just of say, them want I didn't mean for that truck. to turn into a thing like that, but I will say this. My aim is to bring laughs to people. You know, that's my, my reason for being alive. True. So I feel like in the end it did become a success. That gave people a lot of laughs. You should sell truck merch. <laughs> it's trug, actually. Trug. I thought. Oh, you are. I, correct. I'm ready. Sorry. To, I, I think I have other fun things ahead. I think I can. Put I that think so the, too. Because yeah. why waste time with something just, that means nothing? It's nothing. It means, it means nothing. Me. But it did. It got a lot of. It got gave a lot of joy to a lot of people. Sure, sure. But <laughs> not so much to one person. But <laughs> <laughs> one person. Well, it's not really in stand-up anyway. I wish I could. There's so much I want to say. What do those Please. shades cost? I'll uh, start all kinds bucks. of fights. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. I really like those. Aren't they those cool? are so cute. And it has your name on it? Yeah, it says Annie fucking Letterman on the side. <gasps> you sell them in Love. kid sizes for my four-year-old? She's a big head. That would be cute. But she does, like, she does like outlandish sunglasses. Mm. Well, I'll give her the She's wild of taste. Tell her I love grow. it. Tell her get bigger. She is your brother's She's name. So you never cute. remember Max? that though. Yeah. I've told you that a hundred times. You never remember. Really? Yeah. I don't remember talking People to you. People don't remember. <laughs> You're like, I don't even know you. <laughs> Who are you? I keep telling him. Are this. you O'Neill or I Dana? I can't, which one are you? Everybody does that. They're like, which no, one is he? I'm I always like, knew who you were. Like, no, but it, it, I was saying like people meet people and then they, you know, their lives go on. And if you don't really hang out with them or talk, like we all work together, me, Rick, Dana, you know, we all. We're here every fucking night. I mean, I'm so with it's you too. Different... I don't know you that what? <laughs> no, they weren't no, working missed, here when you came. Honestly, I missed the when you guys were. They just weren't working here, killing Tony and hurting him and <laughs> Tony and pretty much every other open micer that came. Through I know. They, I didn't get a beating. You guys didn't beat me down quit when I came because in. of these idiots. But it wasn't. It was a lot of them were brought it upon themselves. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> Listen, we weren't if you it can't out, handle it, it and you quit. But they were like, put me up, put me up, I'm the best. And then they would fail, and you'd be like, fuck it, you just fucking busted my balls. Okay, put well, you what up about and the guy terrible. that, like, Rick would make talk, do the dog thing or the bar Oh, Rick was a different level. <laughs> no, wait, I have a question, though. What would... Rick was his own entity. He was a lone wolf. So, would you have talked shit to me if you. But if I got him past, you wouldn't have talked shit to me. No. It was just for the people that wanted so to get on potluck. Yeah. And but, just were like aggressive. Like the, the people would be crazy. They'd be like, put me up. But I hate that sort of arrogance and then you don't have the thing. That's yes. what bothered me. It's like, you can have the arrogance, but you better be really ready. You better to bring it. Delivery. If you don't bring it, I'm going to be like, that sucked. And or you get up you there quit. and you blame the crowd. And like, this yes. crowd sucks. Oh I'm like, no, you suck. I mean, they would bring me up and like roast me, and I loved it. Like I would, it, it, she's attractive to guys with fingerless gloves, like it, like dumb which is yes, true. Yes, which yes. is true. Or you could see her in La Jolla every other weekend, which is true. <laughs> yeah. Was true at that time. And still Tommy true, used to honestly. send me to La Jolla. A wow. Lot. No, I feel like you are always still there. I haven't been there in a year. She, Why do you have but, to hail? Why do you get bring the Jews into this? She ser she's a server in the La Jolla Comedy <laughs> Store, so they ever do both. <laughs> But like I mean, they would just roast you. Fuck! Like if I went up and did a shitty set, like they would just call you on That's it. That's great. So I didn't care. Did, I you, like you, did you do the? I don't remember you doing the open mic. Were you? No, no I got past. I walked and I got past. Okay. <laughs> you hypnotized Mitzi. But your come up no, was in probably. New York. Yeah. So no. it's different. You know. No, he, I honestly think it's because I had absolutely no clue that it was hard to get past to the comedy store. That's true. I mean, true I too. didn't know. Did you showcase here? Yeah, she, I okay. showcased and then I got past and then I just first time. Yeah. Adam or Tommy? Tommy. Wow, well, she's and from I New York. No clue. Just a hot blonde. Okay? How long did you live in New York? Before I moved here. Yeah. Four years. Why do New York comics hate LA better. so much? It's so. It seems one-sided. So no ridiculous. one here talks about New York. A hundred percent. Now that I'm here, I think it's yeah. so ridiculous. There's no one no, says shit about real. it. Nothing's real. It's not. It's a completely. Made. Is it just like they're like it's a fucking everyone there's oh, doing other hacked. stuff? They love crowd. They like doing um not crowd work. They love act outs or whatever. <laughs> just like actors. 
It just seems like a lot of them bring it up. Then a lot of them come. They're like, oh, Edge I can do shows so, here. And then they're all and nervous. And they're like, oh, I love they it. They bomb in the main room. Always. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. Even the OR. I've oh seen my God. them. You hear, I, you hear it a lot. I hear no one. Hear, and I'm not shitting on New York. If you want to live in New York, that's cool. But like, I love New no York. No one here says, I don't hear shit about New York. I'll tell you, it was fun to start there because there was like a lot of stage time. Um, and then it's just way more fun to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. I, I like like I love clubs in New York. I love going and doing those clubs, but I do miss the sewer when I'm there. It's literally the only thing I like about LA. I never got past the cellar though. I never auditioned because I just was like, I'm not going to be able to handle the fucking rejection if I do. Because I knew mm. if I had what known big... that this was like that, I wouldn't. I probably would have fucking tanked my set. Mm-hmm. But I, I did worked it. with Marin, and he. I never. I never auditioned. I did. I was like, yeah. I get yeah. it. I, 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 and but the I thing, but, the stand all the time. But I love the clubs here. I like the improv. I like the Laugh Factory. Yeah. I love the store. Of obviously, I'm a little biased, but you know, I just, it's just a different vibe. So I like the when I listen when I left. Even when the store was at like its worst, that I've 100% been here we for, we were here. Yeah, <laughs> that I've been here, here for. <laughs> It was still Better something than... I miss so much. You know what I mean? Like when I moved back to New York, I was like, wait, I'm past the store. What am I doing? Why would I? Be... And I was always getting like, even at my like lightest spots, I think I was getting three spots. Like I, I was yeah. always treated really yeah, well yeah. here. Wow. Really well here. Well, He's blonde. Annie Letterman. Aaron. Well, Annie, we love you. Your love favorite, you I do. Your favorite I Mennonite comic. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, he brought up men and I. I was like, what do you do? What did Quake you on, Quake Google Lonnie. her? Because I thought she was Jewish. Oh, I wanted to ask her that. And she's like, no, I'm a men and no, no, I'm Quake, no Quaker, but Quaker. Mennonite's Sorry. fine. Yeah, whatever. Is that the same thing? No, no, but it was, I understood. Mennonites look like they're Amish. But the Quakers oh, yeah, kind of do. Yeah, why am I? I'm Jew. I mean, I'm Jewish in blood. Like, I have my my dad's father was Jewish. But not it's not the, mother? I'm not the, I'm not the good count. part. <laughs> How dare you, my kids? Hey! How dare you, my two kids are Jews. Not no. Candace isn't so now. How dare you? Out. You're di- you're married to Candace Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, you hit her car. <laughs> Candace Owens. Candace Owens is yeah, his wife. It's my lady. <laughs> are your kids white? Mm-hmm. I have a blue eyed child. Yeah. He has a blonde hair. He has a little Aryan baby. Holtzman's Her- putting bids on it. Like Holtzman's crazy. Like, hey, that what baby. to eat it? Nice no, he wants eye. my son. We're bad. not sure. American Dollars, two hundred thousand. Where's Holtzman? Have we <laughs> He's seen on him? the road. He's retired. Who's he on the road with himself? No, no, no. He's I'm on the road. Driving, just driving. Oh God, I love him. <laughs> you want to know when I loved? Did Holtzman? you see the Motel Six? He's in a Motel Six in Oregon. He He's like, this is a Motel be, he Six. He just loves to be a little fucking scumbag. He needs he just, a travel show. He's so on like funny. Adult Swim. When you they like find the- when you start talking to him off stage, you're just like get the whole thing. It's like it's the best. When he's like real, right. it's, it's almost weird. No, because Talk you do him. need like he does need like a documentary about him Is rather there- than just a special. Like yeah, you do yeah. need to see him like going on the. You're right, like a travel show thing. Almost like remember so Tell did Insomniac, a show like yes. that where you see you stand up and then it's like now Holtzman goes yes. out into the world and he talks to like a valet guy and they become best friends. <laughs> he's like, he's super likable, but he's so fucking nuts. Do you think there's a a nut, nutty comics like that that last in New York. Like, Gilbert there, Godfrey. There's not a lot wasn't, of wasn't uh, he, wasn't Gilbert. No, Gilbert was famous. That's different. True, but he was. Uh, I'm wasn't talking he, about like, a, super... a Holtzman where it's like Okay, like an underground. Comic. Yeah. I would have to be passed at one of the main clubs. That's what I mean. Because that's like the difference. Because if Holtzman was just doing mics, we'd be like, is this guy okay? <laughs> yeah, I can't think. I don't know the New York scene. Like the comics are like, I feel so bad for people that aren't passed here. Your life is not good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is as good as you think it is. It's better. It's so good. Talk it up, because I should think. And honestly, also, like, and also, and even when it was the worst, like even when it was like it was bad. Like one time they gave my fucking purse to a fucking prostitute. That well, I mean, that's how Polly ended up with it. Hey, I got your it. purse back. <laughs> it wasn't Polly's. It was another man that works here. Uh, let's just say he's in charge of the legal stuff. Um, oh boy. Yeah, but boy. anyway, we know all about I'm turtle smashing. Sued. Um, no, but it, would, it was like crazy. Like they just gave my purse to this bizarre. Bottom. It's a bizarro. And I just remember place. going. I remember saying. Can you just not suck for the? Why is the improv better than you? I remember just going, "Why is the improv better than this club?" And they're like, you, you know what? More spots. <laughs> yeah, they were like, I, I love working. We at love the improv. I love the laugh factory. No, I do. People get mad at me about the laugh factory. I'm like, I love the laugh factory. The laugh factory I got no is like the one of the easiest. Well, yeah, Freddie, my friend Freddie Soto used to call it like a tit club. Like it would it's make because it's so too bright. E- you're just like. They're way too happy to be there. You definitely, here, like, were you paid but they're to young laugh? too. It's like 
This is great. Are they under 21? I, yes, like, I don't know if I deserve this amount, this level of laughs. <laughs> Good you news guys is are they'll, fucking with they'll me, They'll put right? your set out, though, for free, which is cool. No, I they know. don't do that anymore. All right, she's I'm in trouble. Let's go. All right. Thank you, Annie yeah, Letterman. Look, she, when Annie takes a call, you yeah, know that we're was Because I have zero respect for Eleanor. Everybody knows bitch. that. Nobody she's has respect mean. for me. She says she's nice. She's a liar. Chris Rock's in a black ball. She's you. a twat. Uh, Rick has power now. He's going <laughs> to. All right, so I got to go upstairs and host. So Trash Tuesdays, check it out. Go, Follow me on Instagram. Go Twitter. see her live. It is. She is so fucking funny. Go Seriously, see her go live. See her she's live. so fucking funny. Everyone this guy. Knows. Babysit my kids. I'm babysit his kids. Go. Let's get oh, yeah. Jeff Go a career. Go to Coffee Bean with this guy, okay? If you yeah. come yeah. see me a lot, I'll let Jeff open. This sure. guy this guy will tell you how to write a joke. So anyone that's <laughs> out there interested in getting to comedy, he'll let you know. He loves talking joke structure, so you just pay him for really? coffee. Yeah. I like that. No, isn't that funny when people are like, can I just buy you a coffee and pick your brain? I can afford coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you want to up the price a little bit? It's like... <laughs> Throw in a we croissant. We know where Starbucks is. Uh, a croissant. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Annie. She's got two Annie. bags of weed. One for her. I one didn't for. Think that too, honestly. You have a his and her. We have to. Annie's already up and leaving. She st- she came done. in late. It's leaves over. early. That, and look, That's it's ten roll. o'clock. I gotta go upstairs. Rod Small said that he said, "Act like a black comic." He says, "Show up late." Adore Sherrod Small. Show up late and never apologize, Sherrod Small. Sherrod Small. Race, Love race wars. Yes. Yeah. He's I one of my favorite people. Don't look at me like I know that. See, I don't to say something. I wouldn't say anything. Say whatever your heart desires. I'm don't not you saying anything. Fucking dead. I don't say anything. Thank you, Jeff, for Thank you. co-hosting while Rick is. Hey, Rick. I own the show now. Headlining for rock. <laughs> Rick, have fun out there. We miss you. I know you miss us. He doesn't. He doesn't miss us at all. I no. I love you. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>